Well, let's get started then. For those of you who are just joining us, a quick recap. <clears throat> uh, the party, which has changed a bit over time, but those who you see here, arrived in Barovia, each of them as if awakening from a dream. <clears throat> each dream featured an entrancing fire and a misty landscape which mirrored this strange land of Barovia in some way. The party has learned that this land that they are now trapped in is ruled by an ancient vampire named Strahd von Sarovich. They had a fortune telling, which revealed the location of three powerful artifacts that would help them in their fight against Strahd. The party has recovered two of them, the holy symbol of Ravenkind and the Tome of Strahd. The fortune telling also told them of an ally who would aid in the fight against Strahd. They have found this ally in Elsmerelda Davenir, the protege of the famous monster hunter Rudolf van Richten. There is a third artifact which they have yet to find. Lastly, the fortune told them of a location high on the castle ramparts, where should they go, they are likely to encounter Strahd himself. Last session, the party survived a difficult battle upon the battlements of a small fortress on the edge of the Tsolenka Pass, a stretch of mountain road leading high up to Mount Gakis, a snow-covered mount in the southern region of Barovia. They are being led this way by a mage named Casimir, a dusk elf who seeks power to bring back his dead sister. He has led them this way partially, and the party is also going to this Amber Temple in order to seek the final third artifact, a sword of sunlight, so they are told that lies behind amber doors. Sounds like the Amber Temple. And so they're on their way. In the meantime, though, you have just uh, survived an attack of these sort of translucent, snowy uh, specters, all women who wailed and clawed at you. They're touch cold. And unfortunately, Athelflaed was repeatedly struck by them, feeling her life drain away repeatedly um, from this cold touch. But they were defeated as finally the greatest enemy, the front door was, um, was defeated and they were able to win the battle. So now here you sit in a small tower, three-story tower on the edge of Mount Gakis along the Tolinka Pass. Waldo it is goes freezing. Close to the fire as he possibly can. <laughs> well, Harrison, of course, has the uh, cloak that you were so kind of providing him last time, so I am nice and snug. Is there a bug next to the fire? Are you okay, Jeswaldo? Would you like a cloak? I have three of them on. Um, I, I, yes, uh, that's very kind of you, my lord. I would. Well, uh, then you uh, should have helped me feed the horses, shouldn't you? <clears throat> I was uh, I was busy doing other things, you know. Well, consider this an act of mercy, then. And I'll uh, peel off one of the three layers of cloaks I have on and hand it over to Jeswell, though. Right, right so you try and rip it apart? Yeah, I thought they were sewn together. <laughs> They're so yeah. sewn together. Oh, they sewn together. <laughs> yeah. They're sewn together, yeah. They, they, it's just, uh... just Velcro. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's it's a pottery cloak, I'm sure. Nothing of great design, so probably comes apart at the seams anyway. <laughs> Nothing is... a dagger couldn't fix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so you uh, cut off one of the uh, one of the warm cloaks that you are wearing. <sighs> That's a little better, thank you. My mercy is limitless. Mm, I will remember that. Believe that. <laughs> um, Must love it when right. jokes backfire, just well done. You know, <laughs> one day I will look back at this and laugh, and I look forward to that day. It's not today. Alrighty. Um, is there anything in here other than us in the fireplace? Uh, you can make an investigation check. 
to not my strong suit point. but i'll give it a try <laughs> i i can do it if you like if you want to help me yeah yeah <laughs> go for it <laughs> i'll just start looking around and be like oh, oh, oh i'll think off for that <laughs> uh 26 i saw the i saw nice. the natural one and i was like oh no <laughs> yeah with a backfire you didn't see what happened last night oh far the door rolled with advantage what did i get Two natural ones. ones. Yeah. Seriously? Oh my god. That was ones. amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so you this tower seems to be emptied. There was some type of last stand that happened on the roof. You can tell there are skeletons, armor, um, weapons, all in disrepair, you know, having been left out in the um, elements for likely seasons um, otherwise this place is quite emptied in fact the fire that you've set in the hearth is quickly dwindling as there is there's a bit a few coals a few uh, pieces of wood left over but um, it is unlikely to last very long <clears throat> how is Aethelfad looking I'm definitely leaned up against the wall <clears throat> Okay. How how many uh, points has right. your max hit your max been reduced by? Twenty. So I'm at twenty three out of thirty. Thirty three. Leaned up against the wall like frozen solid, but nobody's noticed. <laughs> yeah, just quietly rangering by myself. <laughs> just like <laughs> nine HP. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. So I'm... By the fire, do we have time for a short rest? Uh, this would be the place to take it. Are you 9 HP on D&D Beyond? You're 23 out of I'm 50. 23. I went down to 93. Oh. I ran and I fell, jumped off the tower screaming 9 HP at you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember, yeah. <laughs> 9 HP! 9, 9 HP! I don't know what a hit point is. She, it's just delirium. She was so <laughs> un... She was... Who knows? It's 9 HP. She doesn't know what it means. We could write it uh, phonetically. So it's not even a word. Just nonsense. An idea. Sean, you're muted. Sean, Sean is muted. his mouth is moving and he's <laughs> Sorry, we have yeah. to um we have we have to consider taking at least a short rest. Uh wouldn't you say? I yes, absolutely. Reduce right. the time of a short rest to say ten minutes. Fantastico. Could we take like six short rests? I don't think it works quite. <laughs> so then, the, then the question becomes because a short rest is not going to help Athelflaed. So the only thing that would would be a long rest, but that we could freeze to death. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the question is, should we? I, I think I saw on the overhead map when we were doing the um, the encounter that there were trees in view. We could attempt to get some fuel. Quick question, do DM. Is Maris with us? Or has she been left? She is not. She okay. stayed back at the camp. So, All right. Curse you, Jezwaldo. First you asked me to feed, now you ask me to chop. I shan't be part of it. Well, that, that, Jezwaldo has not mentioned it. This is, this oh, is right. Sorry. Sean. This is Sean <laughs> meta ing. <laughs> as I, we try to figure out a way to keep the party alive. Um. Could we. Oh, oh, are we on the map now? Oh, yes, yeah, we are. There's Wonderful. a tree over there. I distinctly see a tree. Yeah. <laughs> tree. Um, I. DM, if I were to say head out a little bit past where we are in the tower, could I get a slightly better view of what's ahead? Um, yes. I would like to do that where's my where's my little character token oh there she is okay yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna take a pop outside just see what's up okay um, i'd make a perception check here oh yay more things i'm totally good at yeah i rolled a five <laughs> uh you can see some kind of structure ahead looks like perhaps another gatehouse um, the top of which has two riders mm, um, okay. next to each other. 
And it looks like uh, beyond the gatehouse, there's a considerable drop, probably similar to what you've seen, the, what you can see to your right. Um, I mean, I mean, it, without a healer, I feel like we should go for the long rest because. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unless, and, I mean, does anybody have? Do we even have healing potions? We don't even have those. We have. Let's see. Let's see. Um. No, they cost a thousand bits. <laughs> <laughs> I, see I have a this. single the last one. potion yeah, of yeah. healing. Single potion. And then healing. one healing potion, like the regular kind, and then one that is unknown type. Isn't the mm. point of the long rest we're trying to get Aetherflood's health? Back? Yeah, that's exactly yeah, right. If you don't so know I mean, what I'm it just, is, uh, I can identify. I'm saying that we, we, could, we, oh, could, okay. we could do the short rest and continue w if we had enough healing potions to keep everybody up but i'm thinking that unless does um does our wizard friend um does he have has he demonstrated any kind of healing ability um is he even with us he is yeah. here casimir is with you oh casimir yeah, yeah yeah and he will uh yeah he will say oh those are not my capabilities do i do i think that a potion of lesser restoration will fix that uh, has to be I'll, greater restoration for yeah, exhaustion, hit for exhaustion and hit point uh, yep. stuff. I think lesser uh, is just fear, poison. Charm. Not, not even fear. Not charm. Oh, not, not charm. Fear. <clears throat> well, not yeah, even. it's poison. poison. And, this uh, is this is liquid from the lake, the healing lake. Mm. Oh, healing pool. Healing pool mm. is nice and cool. So juicy, sweet. <laughs> I cast a cure wounds on Aetherflad, please. Um, okay. You can go ahead and roll for that. level two. Um, I'm just going to roll the extra d8 because I don't know how to set it to level two casting. Okay. Yeah, blinded, so, deafened, paralyzed, or poisoned. Um, yep. That would be, what, 13 healing? For uh, Yes. So, so I'm our at, choices, yeah. Oh, go ahead. So I'm Sorry. 33 out of 33 right now. Right? Because that's not touching my max. Right. Yeah. So just the the last little bit of meta here, it seems to me that our choices are we do the short rest and then continue on, or we attempt to get fuel to make a camp here and get a long rest, start off fresh, which probably brings its own... Um, own hazards with it. So yeah. those are the two choices. What do we think we should do? Um, Can you conjure a fire, Linus? I've seen you shooting fire at people. Yes, I can conjure a fire and keep you warm for a bit. Define a bit for us non-magical folk with your esoteric wizard tongue. Maybe a few minutes, at most. Uh, Enough hmm. to burn people alive, if that's what you think. I'm not that cold. I am. I will sit and point prestidization at them, constantly keeping them warm. Zap! <laughs> zap! <laughs> that's Perhaps not quite going just, to be enough, uh, right? especially with the... You can light a fire, but not a fuelless one. Conjure, bon uh, create bonfire. What does that do? Um, I don't have. Does anybody, what does, does anybody have create bonfire? It can create I think bonfire. That's a, yeah. I think that's a uh, a warlock and sorcerer yep. spell. Okay, that would be really handy. Um, is it a spell? Because I am <laughs> level one. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, do you um, have it? <laughs> no, I. I do have a tinder box. Nice. You don't need a so what do you say? Uh, so, Alimus, what do you say? Short rest or long rest? Um, it doesn't bother me either way. I don't need it. Okay, myself. so undecided. Harrison, short rest or long rest? Uh, I'll go for a, a short rest. I don't think we're going to run into anything that's going to knock Aetherflad off the feet until we find somewhere safer. Oh, it okay. does affect me. Sorry. Um, I would take a long rest. I mean, if it's a long rest, then I'll get all my spells back. Claire says long rest. Aetherflad? Um... Damn. Mm -hmm. What's the ladder and the stair railing made of? Ooh. 
They look um, sort of woody. Or and the trap the door. Picture. Well, the trap door keeps cold out, so. Mm. Oh, the building. <laughs> <laughs> trap door is wood. You can burn all the walls. Certainly. <laughs> so, did you say we didn't find anything in here then? Of use. Yeah, nothing of particular interest apparently. What about the beam skeletons. that was across the door? Was that wood? That is a um, piece of iron bound wood. Um, one large piece. Plus it would the ladders and rails are iron. Dang mm. it! Okay. So it says it's, in the book. It's yeah. that. <laughs> so it's that tree. If it's a long rest, we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> we're gonna go and take that tree. Um, we'll take it. You would have been able to see around. There's two trees. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh! Our cook runneth over. Um, I know. What a blessing. So, uh, we might be your lacking in like an axe type situation, though. Uh, I do believe you we... have an axe that's very good against trees. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh my god! I totally <laughs> forgot about that. Plus that's one tree what cutting. I was thinking. Yes. <laughs> um, would that be a, a lumberjack check? Um, I'm gonna say long. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go with long too. I think I think we gotta risk it. Yeah. Just Fair to make enough. sure that we. Without a that healer. temple's gonna be a shit yeah. show. Without a I've healer. Got, I haven't got anything. <clears throat> Alright. I've um, got these two spell books I can burn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that. That's fine. Alright, so, all right, uh, now back in. So, what are we doing? Uh, who can cut trees? I suppose I can. You've before. already demonstrated that you're capable. <laughs> As I he, will admit there is a simple pleasure to be taken in a simple job well done. I do envy peasants sometimes. I will chop down this tree to prove that the nobility is capable as well. Perhaps I'll someone should go, go with him. I'll, I'll go help him just to make sure he doesn't cut himself or anything. <laughs> I will protect <laughs> the flag. <laughs> and, and like I will um, stay here to protect the uh, mage and the... Thank you for yes. your protection I, as well. Though. You're very welcome. <laughs> I guess before they head out, I want to do my primeval awareness and see if there's anything uh, kinky lurking around. Oh, you, did you just did you say kinky? I said <laughs> hinky with a huh. Oh, I was going to say. Kind of rage rage play? I mean, <laughs> I definitely thought you said kinky. It's the kind of kinky that I you mean, would hell. That, depending on your kink, it could show up in my search. I, <laughs> that's up to you. <laughs> I, had, I did an investigation contest. of 26. There was no sex toys. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember that. Okay. Oh. Um, no, this is the aberration, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiend, and undead. You sense um, the presence of undead and fiends within six miles. Six miles. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's useful. <laughs> I mean, favored terrain. Well, at least there's no dragons, right? I mean, look on the bright yeah. side. No well, more uh, random as we, celestials. As uh, Sir Harrison and I walk over towards the trees, I will um, extend my uh, divine sense for the more immediate area. And okay. just utilize it for a couple rounds just to get a sense of this whole little swath of land. All right. You're walking over towards the pass, then, or the, towards yeah, the gatehouse. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll walk over there. Hey, let's go on a little walk. With both of you going yeah. closer and a bit further. Um, hang out when you get about halfway towards the trees. You can see then that the oh, pass yeah. does plunge down into a river. There seems to be a bridge um, oh. leading across. The That's path intense. resumes on the other side. You can see it briefly before the snow and wind starts picking up again. Mm. Right. What are you guys' passive perceptions? The two of you? Um, Not I've existent. Got, yeah, pretty much 13 as well. Uh, 10. 17, but I'm not there. Uh, yeah. So, it will be fine. You hear a bit of what sounds like falling rock, just a few things falling down the, um, the side of the mountain up towards the ridge. The snow continues to swirl in your head, and then you hear 
the sound mm. of hooves impacting the ground very firmly, just in time to see a giant goat ah. careening down the mountain ah. in your direction. It's nine feet tall, what the standing fuck? on this crag. Its gray fur blends almost perfectly with the rock of the mountainside. It lowers its head and malice glimmers in its eyes as it charges at you. Um, uh, yeah. Um, hey, is that we, a goat? You can we will see. Ro roll initiative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want that I from all of us? I'll get it's to probably, decide. you probably <laughs> will not be able to hear what is going on necessarily, but. Uh, I'll, I'll go yeah, do you want us to roll. just to roll it so that we know when we do? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, 10. Weird thing. Oh, good. Let's see here. And I assume Hold we on. know it looks malicious. It's not like running up to us in a friendly way. It looks delicious and malicious. <laughs> it seems to be. So, sorry, hang on. Okay. Hang on. Just for just for my own. Are the size of the, are the, size of the tokens correct? Yes. Oh, They're shit. 10 feet squares. Yeah. It's God. A, it's a giant goat. Not just oh, for, like... God. He looks uh, so friendly as well. No. <laughs> Of course, he crits on his stupid initiative roll. Um, it charges down. Claire, unfortunately, you are surprised. <laughs> and it charges down, lowers its head towards your armor, glinting there. Okay. And what did you do to tick him off? I just walked by. <laughs> Uh -huh. A 22 to hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, Gosh. with advantage, it, uh, lowered its head and boom. Um, it's going to be. Got it. So It has a name? <laughs> it does. You take, you take nine points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, and you're not, you're not going to knock her off the edge of the mountain. <laughs> Plus an extra four. And you need to make a... Um, strength, is it strength, I believe? Yes. A okay. strength saving throw. I'm not terrified at all. <laughs> Somebody donate bits now. We need this. <laughs> 11. I said we're not going to be sellouts, Harry. <laughs> She's going to Speak die. for yourself. You see this enormous goat <laughs> lower its head and <clears throat> careen into Claire, who is sent flying off the side of the pass. Oh my gosh. How far do I go? You hear nothing for a bit. Just and then that <sighs> solid impact as the paladin takes, let's see. Uh, As it's coming down, I'll just point to Claire and say, Claire, that looks like a goat running towards us. <laughs> uh, Claire looks up at the sky, I don't see it. <laughs> Claire, you take 32 points of Jesus. bludgeoning damage. As you impact on a ledge 100 feet below Harrison, peering over the edge, you can see that she's very lucky. It's about 500 feet down. That's lucky. <laughs> but she's on a ledge about 100 uh, right. feet down. Prone. Hey, guys. Guess what? <laughs> I'm still up. Yes. Wow. You just get up. Rub it off. <laughs> <sighs> no, cool. Uh, anyone have any feature that prevents them from being surprised? Does Claire, do you do, do you yell on your way down? Is there a scream yeah. that alerts everyone else? You hear? It's it's not so much a scream as a what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> do you hear something? I don't know, do I? Uh, yes, you would hear her yell that. Oh, Are you sure? Um, I've been laughing so much. Claire, it is now your turn. Oh, good. Um, You're on a narrow ledge. About here, about a hundred feet down. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> That's casual. Um, I, I have like almost nothing. I'm gonna use the rest of my lay on hands pool to heal myself <laughs> so I get 10 hit points back. Um, Cause I donated them to someone last time. To kill time. this goat, we can all sleep inside of it. Yeah. I'm gonna do some like tauntaun shit here. Um, I've got nothing that is helpful in this particular situation. Um, do, uh, healing potions are regular action, correct? Correct. Um, then I'm just gonna kind of yell up and be like, uh, guys, <laughs> there's a goat. <laughs> it's really fucking big. I, I could have sworn that I heard something. Are you sure? It's not just the wind. <laughs> the goat will raise its head. It will run back up and then careen back down, lowering oh, its head. Oh, no, you. <laughs> what minion of Strahd is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, this time he rolls a 14 to hit. Okay, no, he doesn't hit me. All okay, right. I'm prepared for it this time. I'll brace myself in the snow. Yes, and the <laughs> horns just glance off your shield. You, your is stance there, keeps you from being pushed backwards. Is there anything I can do to like jump out of the way at the last second and just send it over the cliff? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's going to kill it straight it away. It seems remarkably sure-footed. So ah, the drop, yeah, can... the, uh, the incline that it just ran down is just about as steep as the what um, Claire fell down on the other side. So it's running almost straight down, goat style. <laughs> it's that's, goat style. Probably be okay. But goat that's. Anyway. They've forgotten martial art. <laughs> Hearing some yelling and such, uh, Athelflaed, it's now your turn. You hear. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to. <laughs> oh, no, I'm at, I'm at 33 now, so I'm not limping around. So I will head to the door and stick my head out and investigate from a distance. <laughs> See the silhouette of Harrison with his hands on the goat's horns, trying to stop yeah, himself getting see, pushed over the It's edge. like Harrison's wrestling with a goat. <laughs> so a normal goat day. It. I swear the goat started it. Um, shoot it. Ooh, if I shoot, shoot it, it's going to get me. Uh, okay. You're behind a door. Well, I've stuck my head out. I'm peeking. Ooh, you could go up on the roof and shoot it from there. Stop telling me what to do with your great ideas. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> what? Close the door, get... it's cold. Shut up, Jeswaldo, they need help. And I'm going to run really, really fast past Jeswaldo because I don't care. And I've got the better cloak. And I'm going to go up to the top, the tippy top. Okay. And that's my dash. And tippy top is over here. And I'm going to line up my bow and get ready for a shot. Okay. Gotcha. Jeswaldo. Where, where are you going? <laughs> so Jeswaldo will walk to the door and look out and go, Oh my, that is a large god. Um, I turn to Elimus. I will... I don't see Claire. Claire? And I run out and I run towards the goat. Let's see here. I was there. That's going to be one, two, three... Four, five, six. Seven. I will bonus action dash. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I will there, move to there and I'll pull out a um, a uh, throwing dagger. Okay. I was able to get closer, right? Mm hmm. To here. We're good, right there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, that that looked fine to me. I pull out a throwing dagger and I will throw it at the goat. Hopefully, uh, getting its attention away from my compatriots. If it AC twenty. Oh yes. Doing eighteen points of piercing damage. Twenty. No, excuse me, 20 points of piercing damage. Is that how that works? <laughs> I've mathed a lot today, people. Just... <laughs> oh, it's fair. It's Friday. Fair. Um, 
All right, so uh, a little prick, and somehow where you hit it, you see massive amounts of blood begin to pour over this beautiful gray cloak. Hey, uh, Toro, cloak. Toro! <laughs> Harrison, you're up. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better try and stab it with my longsword. So I'll keep trying to bat it off with the shield, sneak the longsword out, and try and just slide it into some soft area I can see. Um... I have two rolls of this, so uh, that'll be a 24 and a 14. Both will hit. Oh, wow, okay. And I'll use my um, thingy, so that's 14 um, and 13, which is 27. And I'll roll a 1d8 as my flourish for an extra 6. Got so it. Wow, that's, that's a 33 massive damage. damage. What's and that it, final uh, flourish look like? The final flourish, I suppose, is more to do with shield than sword. And um, yeah, I will, we don't care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll angle it on my forearm in the way that it's parallel to it, and I'll use it to jab it, like using the sharp end of the, sh of the tower shield into the, between the goat's eyes. Got Just it. Sort of Ooh. back it off away from me. Yeah, you. Um, it it you stab it twice, and it the blood starts to pour out more profusely and it lets out an angry goat scream and then rears up to butt your head and you counter with your shield and you see its head, the horns just suddenly and it falls limp in front of you. It seems like Strahd's beasts aren't so strong after all. You could say I really got his goat. <laughs> right, Jeswaldo? Jeswaldo pulls out another couple of, of daggers and just <laughs> Keeps hitting it as he walks forward. <laughs> just <laughs> stabs it with his rapier. <laughs> what happened to Claire? Oh, she was um, headbutted off the cliff. By what? <laughs> <laughs> just kind of <laughs> runs and skids to the edge of the cliff. Claire! <sighs> Don't worry, Jess Wilder. She's perfectly fine. I think I might have bruised a few bones, but I'm okay. All right, um... I have some rope. How far down is she? A hundred feet. Don't have that much rope. Um, I have. I have rope. <laughs> Many of us have rope. We could tie I have it. rope. All right, we should. <laughs> <laughs> you have all the rope. <laughs> <laughs> I have fifty feet of rope. Uh, yeah. Um, before I head down to help them try to rescue Claire, um, now that I'm on the tower at a better vantage point, can I see um, if there's anything like strange up ahead? How far can I see with my half-elf eyes? Make a perception check. Perception check. Oh, I only have a 10. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, you can't. you can see that the road continues beyond the bridge, but other than that, not much. Looking down, it seems the uh, terrain kind of disappears into mists below. Okay, and I'm going to head back down to the ground. Um, I guess if we all combine our rope, we will have enough to make a knotted rope for Claire to climb up. Our Is ropes the... combined. It's, I mean, I have 50. If, as long as we have like more than 100 feet of rope, we should be able to knot it enough for her to climb up without any problems. Mine is, my rope is knotted because it's the one that we used to get up the gate. Okay. And I then used it to climb up the tower here. So you already have knotted rope. I have knotted yep. rope. Sweet. Can you guys make a hundred feet of knotted rope? I can make, I have 50 feet of rope, which knotted would take it down to like 40. 40, so I have about 40. 40. Does anybody else have any more rope? Harrison. Nope. I know. I'm still prepared. <laughs> Does Casimir have rope? <laughs> <laughs> Can he make us rope? Does it, doesn't he have fly? Who cast fly on you before? Casimir. He does. And he will say, so who wants to go down and fetch the spare rope? Oh, I will. I'll be happy to. Love to fly. Hmm. Um, I do have Featherfall prepared. Maybe fly down, cast that, drag her up. Can that work like that? 
Well, it, I think Featherfall uh, ends once you hit the ground. Right? And if we have if we have the rope, then it'll be fine. Save the spell. Very well. Uh, and Are so there Casimir. any more goats? I didn't see any goats. I looked up at the top of the tower when I was there, and I didn't see any goats. Just what those going to look for more goats. Okay. <laughs> Probably a really good idea that didn't occur to <laughs> As, Oh my god. I wouldn't have survived that fall. <laughs> at all. Ten uh, perception check? Mm hmm. Well, my job, I had. No, goat check. I had feather falls. <laughs> so I'd have been alright, but. The 15, um, you do see across the way. A few more goats on the other side. Um, there are. There also appear to be a group up, kind of past these trees. Much smaller, though, and really just munching on little uh, uh, tufts of uh, grass and roots and stuff up the way. Nothing uh, like I before. So we smaller the goats, but they could be big goats just far away. It's hard to tell. It's a perspective thing. At any rate, all right. I think we have the rope. I'm ready to fly. Okay, he will cast fly on you. Aha! Watch out for the lightning. <laughs> and I fly down <laughs> and I land next to Claire. You know, I... <laughs> I might be able to carry you. You would drop me in a hat, a hot second. <laughs> no. Come on, let's give it a try. Fine. How Casimir, heavy is she? Uh, <laughs> with the armor, probably. My weight carried is 177 pounds. <laughs> so I mean, fly handle that? Yeah, but if you can carry her up at least 20 feet to the rope. So with the yeah, armor and stuff, think, yeah, think probably about 300. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it's a, it's up to the 300 spell. 300 plus it, pounds. It can, uh, there's, can... no, there's no limits. I think that, you that have a fly speed, but it's up to your armor. strength. So oh, I'm going, you I'm have going a, to, like, yeah. do you mind? And I sort of do a heft to check to sort of see. <laughs> how, uh, hmm, maybe if you if you move this, I, this is a new, this is interesting. Okay. If I mm, if I put you <laughs> here and I I, mm. I just want to point out really quick because well, I'm though. taking a little quick perusal of my inventory here. Um, I have a 25 pound chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, there's no way, no way. I'm sorry, Claire. I it would be fun and epic and all those wonderful things, but here, uh, give me that rope. <laughs> I start okay. knotting a rope to the rope that I have. Got Just... it. Um, okay. Casimir looks towards you, Elimus, and says, how tempted would you be to drop concentration? It would be fun. And he just goes on watching. All right, Claire. I will be right next to you all the way. You ready? Here we go. Sure. Up okay. you go. So, athletics check here. Doing good. Doing really good. Oh, yes. Watch out. There's a little spot uh, right 16. here. 16. Just sort of flying up next to her. Like, you can't Spock. actually help her, though, can you? <laughs> no, I can't. Like, uh, like he's Spock just, he's in, a in Star Trek V. Yeah, yeah, he's an of... athletic supporter. <laughs> That's right. Ah. How many ah. checks do you need me to make, Peter? Uh, one more. Okay. If, it's not a, uh, if, it's, well. if it's not a rope, it doesn't require a check, but no athletics check? Nope. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, the but first you know, time I've had players throat and fla flavor of cold, cold hands, you know. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. I mean, there there could be I'm any number of reasons why it's not a to your death, that sort of thing. 12. Enough. With Delightful. all things considered. Uh, Whew. Get back up. Um Whew. you uh you fell. Yeah. Um. That was painful. I. Oh. I look, mm. I look down. How the hell did you survive Ow. that? Huh? How did you survive that? 
I'm looking down. I'm really thick. <laughs> so about those trees. Yeah. Jeez. Is, is there any more name. goats? I look at the size of this. Jesus yeah. Christ. No. Well. And it's, yeah, you see now that it is extraordinary. It has these black horns and this gray fur, which is, looks almost luxurious. Um, hey, Harrison, there's a cloak for you. Yeah. Mm. Yes, might need a bit of treatment. Aethelflaed, uh, I suppose you're quite good with skinning and things, or... Again, just because, you know, you're an elf and... Because she's a goddamn ranger, dude. Don't just go like... for the racial comment. Of course, and you are of the wilds, so to speak. I'm just gonna grump right past him. He was fine until he had to be racist. <laughs> and so pushing shoulder past him and then kneeling down, pulling up my dagger and getting to work skinning. Does so that we make can a survival make a check? Does Harry have no. to make a reflex save and fall off the cliff? Which is. <laughs> While she's doing that, can we uh, explore yes, the possibility of absolutely. cutting down a tree? 22. Um, you do a fine job of skinning it. You have an enormous. Um, and the Pelt. horns. No. And the horns. It's mine. We can put it in my <laughs> chest. Instead of horns. No, I will wear it like a king of it's Winterfell. It's bloody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a ranger. It's fine. Oh. Well then. You know those uh... horns would look very good on your head, my lord. Sort of a helmet, sort of thing. It would really go well with your coat. Something to be considered, perhaps. Yes. Shall we be right. about the business of chopping down a tree? Yeah, that sounds about right. Would you like some protection this time? And he's mocking Giswaldo. Probably for the best. You, yes. you said it but to him who earlier. Who are you talking to? <laughs> he says it to the group, but in a mocking way, because obviously Giswaldo said he's going to protect Limus. And oh. <laughs> I mean, you're probably... Giswaldo doesn't get it more perceptive than the rest of us so you see something coming faster than i would yeah maybe uh a passively he is <laughs> but that's about it it was quite the tumble claire she'll make a fine story at least to tell in a tavern the time yeah. you were knocked off a cliff by a giant goat mm -hmm. yeah at the very least can we not get some meat out of that as well you might be able to Could sure i that can survival that. check definitely today is a day about that, meat <laughs> My game earlier yeah. today, they killed a polar bear and rolled really high their survival, like 500 pounds of polar bear meat. Do I get... Does this count as foraging? No. No. Just, just You've already done a survival, only 22. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With that survival check, you can definitely... It was a very clean skin. that You were able to take the pelt off, the horns off with that. Easy enough to harvest the, some shanks. Such. No. Demon goat steak. Goat hunch, yeah. Okay. My God, can we please get these trees done? Yeah, let's let's take care of some trees. You have an axe that is specifically uh, crafted to fell plants, like yes. all axes are. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> extra special. Uh, there will be no Employee check required. Just taking the time to chop down the tree. Right. Chop it up. You'll be able to. Anyone else helping with the labor too? I will help carry the wood. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm you, finishing cleaning up the goat. <laughs> do you now have a cloak, Giswaldo, that is warm? I do. Okay. I Thanks have a new one if you want to. generosity of Lord Harrison Slater. So everyone has cold weather gear except for um, Casimir. Good. Okay. Did he not bring any? He doesn't no. need any. Oh, he doesn't. He's just as wearing a regular light cloak. And just walking about, <laughs> kind of. It's just it's <laughs> weird compared to you guys who are bundled up and shivering. He's just walking around like everything's fine. His uh, hands aren't covered see, or anything. It's weird because in Elven cult, if, obviously, if you go back all for D different D and D like settings, yeah. elves can actually shift their the temperature like a, a, a um, either way, so they can survive mm -hmm. in either either. Obviously, extreme cold, they would have they you know. They would have to be uh, warmed up, but obviously uh, they can shift either way. 
this by just... definition is extreme cold yeah. that you guys are in. It's... So well, now that we have the fuel, can we build a fire? Yes. Oh, and wow. we can have oh, a meal up, have for a meal. whoever wants to try this we can meat. Close the door. Awesome. We can set the watches, and we can have a long rest. I'm about it. Cool. Uh, do I need to drag this corpse in, or is it just all harvested up now? It's now just like bones and like leftover carcass bits. I'll push it off the mountain. Good idea. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It tumbles down. I hope nobody gets caught in that Ooh. avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> but it got squashed on the way. Seeing it go over, I'm like, I'm just watching it sort of break across the cliff, and I'm like, yeah, that could have been me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to so. say, good. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's going to watch? Who's cooking? <laughs> we don't, do we need to watch? We can just bark. Mind you, ghosts don't need... They can just walk through doors, can't they? be best to see them coming. Well, now that you mention it, that really... that's Yes, that's terrifying. Um, but I don't suppose there's any choice. Bar the door. Oh, and I'll... Get a fire going. I'll take first watch from the upper levels. Just Waldo bars the door and goes okay. to sleep. I'll set the fire down and speak the words of Maleficis Arbitus, and a flame will hopefully ignite the wood. If it does, I know wood needs to be dried first. But... I do have a tinderbox if that helps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Between. Someone made a dating joke about that earlier. <laughs> Womp. Is, that, is that just what we call a cell phone? Is something like that? Yeah. Strahd. That's a swipe left for me. Um, oh, all right. Let's dodge this uh, train of puns. So, good. Okay. Between your, with all of your equipment, everything, between all of it, you will be able to set a fine fire going curiosity um what would the perhaps associated check be for cooking in this game survival <laughs> I was like, uh, survival. you can also have tool proficiencies with um oh yeah yeah you want to know the crazy know. thing it's actually constitution really mm. yep makes sense wow well, does it is that to see how well yeah. you can keep down the food or just I guess. well especially this weird demon goat <laughs> That's gonna take, I think, all your constitution. <laughs> is this an actual? Is like this goat is just a naturally big goat, right? We're not eating a demon, are we? I did. It had glowing eyes. Um, but I had, I did have um, um, divine sense yeah. up at the time. Did it ping at all? I guess is it just undead? Because I did sense undead. Yeah, Isn't... but you're sensing like the entire country. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Yeah, you can't locate. Um, yeah. So you did. The divine sense is just a, a momentary, right? Um, it is actually for until the end of my turn. So it's effectively like a six second long thing. And I was the way that I described it as I was trying to just use it for the walk up. So I was just going to keep like using my five charges of it. Oh, okay. No, no, it, you stretch. didn't. It, okay. it would have negated the surprise, certainly, but it is not undead. So okay. long as we're not eating a demon or anything horrible. I'll cast a tech magic It's, it's it. not fiend either. I'm about to I, click. I would have, it okay, would have, great. it would have hit me. We're about to click long rest. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Well, I sit, uh, and... I sit to, next to Casimir and I, was, I was talk to Casimir. I say, what else to be find here? Do you know? How much do you know of this place? The temple. Is that what you speak of? Yes. Yes. Have you been I've here? I've heard that it was a repository of foul arcane knowledge kept by an enclave of wizards long before the vampire ever came here. There is enormous power there. And I know, I believe, the power to bring back my sister. 
Knowing and believing are two different things. Do you have evidence that there's this power actually resides within the temple? He kind of looks over his shoulder and I know it is there. If what you say is me. true about being an archive of mages, then I too believe this. Magic has no limits. Apart from knife level. <laughs> I don't say that. <laughs> um, DM, will with the goat meat at all, will I be able to recover my level of exhaustion during this long rest? can indeed since you with the fire and everything you can please tell me they start turning into goats when they eat it <laughs> that was a bad uh, no. idea nothing <laughs> of the sorts in fact casimir will also take a bit and eat with you i will eat too mm, so <laughs> so let's do watches i'll take second watch gone first and at the tower Excellent. I will get some sleep. Um, just out of curiosity, one last quick question to you before mm -hmm. I tuck in Casimir. Um, I, do you, have you heard any suggestion that there are, say, spirits or that kind of thing up at the temple? It's very possible. Okay. You nice. know these places where mages work for decades and centuries tend to have lingering magics, hmm. failed experiments, the hmm. echoes of their ruin, remembrances of their hubris, you know. Those who were too weak to master the knowledge they sought to dominate. Hmm. Making my selection was going to be harder than I'll sit down and open my spell book. Start picking at the meat. Oh, right. Protection. While we may not find any alive, I, I do not know, but imagine that it will be the mages themselves that we fight should a fight be necessary. Yikes. Is there anything else? Or can I meditate? No, please. Go ahead. I'll also do what needs to be done to prepare my spells for the next day. Go. He kind of leans down against the wall. He doesn't assume any sort of particular stance. Says back against it, arms crossed, one knee up, and just kind of stares into the fire. Now, I've heard there's two watches. What is the watch schedule? Number one is me, Harrison Slater. Number two, I think with four watches, we will all be able to get our eight hours. That's correct. Um, who are the other two? I can watch, I just, I'm not gonna see shit. <laughs> Uh, I'll take three because I'll have eight hours <laughs> probably by then. Okay. So it sounds like Claire is four. Sure. Got it. The wind will howl outside throughout the night. At moments it seems like the fire is about to go out as it sometimes whoosh, whoosh, blows down the chimney, um, kicking some embers and smoke throughout the um, room in which you're holed up in, but not enough to disturb your rest. The blackness of night begins to glow a pale hue of blue. And swirling, and in, amidst the swirling wind, whistling, cutting across the sharp rocks of the mountainside. Claire, you hear a voice. Claire. Come to the bridge. 
Is it so? I'm sorry. Was this during my watch or during during your watch? During my watch. Um, yeah. I'm. Does anyone else seem like they're awake? It doesn't seem like it. Okay. Um, as stealthily as a heavily armored person can manage, <laughs> I'm going to peer out the door. Can I see anything? Make a perception ghost check. A ghost of a dog of a goat. Oh god. <laughs> oh, ghost. He's calling for me. <laughs> Do we hear a lift in the grate to get out? Ooh. Natural twenty on the perception. Um very nice. Uh go ahead and make a uh, stealth check. Okay. Try and do that quietly. Oh, yeah. you're doing it quietly, are you? Uh, I guess you it's not very to, hard. How do, you, how do you roll disadvantage to do, on um, um, what you call it? Uh, press control while you click it. So actually, um, you don't make a lot of noise. Um, you would, uh, assuming the rest of your companions are asleep or meditating, they would probably simply assume that you were checking the door or just going outside to perhaps relieve yourself or something mm -hmm. like that. Okay. You lift the door without waking many and go outside looking down across the bridge you see the snow is still for a bit it seems to be swirling around you almost creating a vortex in this elliptical pattern that allows clear sight in this early morning barest hint of twilight and you see a figure standing tall and proud on the guardrail of the bridge standing up on the edge cloak billowing out behind shoulder length black hair and a noble face turning towards you though distant you can see a familiar face Strahd reaches out a hand towards you and says you have my word upon the name of my mother Queen Ravonia of whom I named my castle that you will not be harmed come what for I'd like to show you something You won't harm them, my friends, while I'm gone. I will not. Nor will your Enough creatures. negotiating, Claire. I will do nothing of the sort. You are what <laughs> I seek now. Come, speak with me. I'm talking to you. I'll walk over. Stop playing hard to get. So he is near where this um, the bridge has collapsed. Okay. He is look. He is standing, as I said, up upon the edge, balancing perfectly, looking out. Come closer. I'm going to start walking toward, but trying to keep as close an eye out on my surroundings as possible. Okay, make a perception check. I wish I was good at this. I rolled a five. <laughs> uh, despite the glimmering light just starting to hint at morning it is still pretty dark very hard to see all right i'll make my way here to the edge of the bridge don't die claire do, 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 do. don't die claire do, 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 do. he's gonna start singing to us soon. and he will just want? he will just grin a bit and he says 
he will gesture out towards the direction he's standing, looking over the bridge. Look. Can see just fine from here. Hmm. And as he gestures across the land, you will see this snow will begin to fall, where it was once swirling around, now falls like a beautiful midwinter's day. And the weather clears for a moment. The mists seem to recede before your eyes. And before you, a verdant valley is revealed, a small hamlet, and a stately noble castle upon a hill. Is that Ravenloft? It's beautiful, isn't it? There's something... <laughs> noble about it. Hmm. Noble choice word, Claire. Tell me, I know why you're here, but what does it mean to you? The result of your coming is inconsequential. What matters now is what you do. What do you plan to do, Claire? Here at the temple or here in Barovia? Hmm, I'm not talking about details. What is your purpose, Paladin? to rid the world of creatures who would destroy the lives of innocents and destroy the lives of those I care for. Hmm. Good. A conqueror? Of a sort. And what then after? Once those you've called monsters have been slain, once their layers have been raised, what then? To be perfectly honest, I haven't thought that far. No rest for someone like me. Hmm. No, indeed. And it seems that every time I try to think about it, something gets in the way. Is that an excuse, warrior? <laughs> an observation of my own weaknesses. Good. Good. I never seem to do the interpersonal. <laughs> That's okay, Claire. Hmm. Well, and you this see the all... mists begin to <sighs> resume. The snow begins to fall and swirl again. Hmm. Not that I don't appreciate a heart to heart every now and then and being shown beautiful views, but why? What do you want from me? You know we're not friends. Oh, I know we never will be, Claire. I'm curious what you will become. I don't see the future. And no. And apparently neither do you. So, I'll just have to see. 
Perhaps that was it. We'll see. Hmm. Well, it's about to be dawn. Time for you to go to bed. <laughs> he smiles and looks down. Turns around. He's been looking out this entire time and he turns to face you. Marching ever onward, you will always find monsters, Claire. And looking back towards where the castle was, he says, think a bit on where it is you'll rest and protect. And he leans back and falls off of the edge while whispering what sounds to be an incantation. And I'll look over. You see nothing. At least he didn't Batman you. <laughs> so I love that this is a counter spell and I haven't <laughs> just like killed Strong. <laughs> Not in my wheelhouse, unfortunately. <sighs> Cheeky bastard. All right. Just, I'm, I'm going to step out a little bit further onto the bridge and mm -hmm. just see if I can. S he looked like he was looking really closely in that area. Was he looking at anything in particular or was he just like looking out at the view? Mostly at the view. Uh, go ahead and make an insight check. <laughs> Nine. There was something different. When you've seen him in combat before, there's you've seen the fierceness of rage. You've seen Strahd the warrior, Strahd the conqueror. This was something different, though. What exactly that is, is difficult to ascertain. I will walk back to the tower. He was horny. He was trying to do a booty call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good fucking luck. Settle back in. Mm -hmm. See if anyone else is... <sighs> oh, the rest of your watch will complete without many other disturbance. <laughs> Alright. I'll leave it for the time being. Okay. All right. I am feeling much better. Good. Good. Casimir says, we'll need all our strength. But well, daylight's wasting, so to speak, in this land. Yeah. Move on our way, I suppose. Maybe. Maybe a little less cavalier. Tread carefully. Sound advice from somebody who was put it up a mountain <laughs> by a goat. <laughs> I learned from my experiences. Very well. Let's be about it then. Yeah. And uh, begin setting off to the bridge. Yep. Let's go. All right. I'm approach. We're off to see a wizard, the wonderful wit The bridge. As you see, there are these 30 foot tall, 30 foot wide stone arches that um, sit at either side of this bridge, uh, topped by statues of armored knights on horseback with lances charging towards one another. The wind bites and howls as it passes through this gorge. 
and the, there are low walls enclosing a stone bridge that's fallen away in places um, on the actual bridge, though it seems to be intact. Is it possible to cross this bridge without being seen by crouching down and being lower than the, the walls? Um, potentially. Yeah, so it's, they're high enough to get sort of army crawl if you pick the side. Um, as we're approaching, I'll say, careful everyone, there's a bit up ahead that's broken. We'll want to watch our step. Do you mind if I go ahead to see if, uh, well, if there's any sort of ambush? Not at all. All right. And I will stealth across, trying to remain unseen by anything that could be looking from the valley below or across. Okay. Wow. I'm going like crap today. That is a 12. 12, you don't feel particularly confident. There are points you identified. You know, I'm going to dart across here, you know, to, to, to switch which wall you're taking cover. It's and um, the, the rubble, you kind of slip the, between the rubble and the ice, and you <laughs> don't quite make it. And, uh, it does, it's not a good showing. Just what we, we can see. see anything stir. Yeah, what yes, we... I know. I'm. I just stand up and walk across. <laughs> okay, you are not harassed by anything. You do see that the uh, one of the knights on top of this northernmost guardhouse seems to be um, crumbled. At least the, the front portion. The knight, the hindquarters of the horse are still standing. I'll make a perception check to see if I can see anything lurking. Okay. If I may. Mm -hmm. Might as well roll a nine. Nothing. I think it's all right. So those those stone knights and whatnot, they don't look like they're about to say start moving and attack us, do they? <laughs> Not any I'm more sure than I would have seen it if that was the case. <laughs> Not any more than the statues did that attacked you before. So. Great, delightful. Must be said. Well, I mean, not every statue is going to attack us here, right? I mean, certainly not the broken one. Exactly. It'd just be the horse's ass. It could still Ooh, bludgeon you. Good joke in there somewhere, but I don't have the patience to find it. All right. <laughs> Also, yeah. I have to reveal to you guys the most frustrating compass rose ever. What? I'll, I'll just show you. Where? Ah! Uh, why? What? Why? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, did that, did I don't why? know why they did that. Yeah, I you're heading west to east as so you walk much. up the map. So, <laughs> Like you always do, you know. So just Waldo got over the bridge without issue? He did. All right. Guess I'll follow close behind. Careful to. Just out of curiosity, is is it how? What's the weather like? Uh, it has returned to its biting cold that it was before. Can't really see out where I had looked the previous night. No, not at all. You could see through the entirety of the valley early in that at that time early in the morning. Um, you could see all the way to Kresk. You could see Velaki down in the Vale. You could see. Um, oh, was Barovia that Velaki? beneath the castle. Mm -hmm. Was that that village? Was that Velaki then? At the I believe foot so. Of yes. The... Oh. Um, wow. Sort of around the corner would have been where the smaller village of Barovia would have been. But you could see almost everything that you've encountered so far. It's just there. Oh. Weird. All right. Head up back towards the front. Okay. Gonna. Well, I don't know that that's any better, bridge. having the, the compass rose look like that. that... <laughs> Zorth. <laughs> I'll show you that. This, this is what we got to deal with, chat. Right. Yeah. Let a soldier on. If we're I'll, so hide cautious. I'll hide it. Okay. <laughs> we're so you cautious about everything. Upwards. Ethelflat, are you still wearing the goat fur? Yes. But it's not dripping with blood now. It's had a while to dry and air out. Okay. Oh, it's still so grody, though. It's it's <laughs> very on. warm. I was like, I am extremely warm. I have two layers of cloaks on now. 
And one layer of viscous blood. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's dry. It dried. Uh, dried viscous blood. Yeah. Still. <laughs> it's it's got it's got some crispy bits on the edges. Oh, oh. Come on. <laughs> so as you continue on, none of you need to make constitution checks as you are properly dressed now, everyone. I'm good. And the road fades away under a covering of snow. But it takes you just far enough where you can see a facade of some kind of temple carved into the sheer mountainside ahead. The front of the structure is 50 feet high and has six alcoves containing 20 foot tall statues. Each statue is carved from a single block of amber and depicts a faceless hooded figure, its hands pressed together in a gesture of prayer. Between the two innermost statues is a 20 foot tall archway and a staircase leading down. Well, I'd say we found it. Yeah. Mm. Any doors visible from where we are? I mean, there is the um, door, the front door. Sorry. Yeah, like, oh, sorry, I misunderstood your description. Jerk. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, no, I, I was wondering if I, uh, if, if the meaning was something different. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean Keep to be good. snarky. All right. How does the temple look like upkeep wise? Is it similar to the bridge and it's like decrepit or? It is crumbling in places. Okay. No upkeep, so to speak then. Yeah, and there is a collapsed sort of cave um, what looks to be a natural fissure that's open in the mountainside, sort of mm. just west of the temple's facade. Um, um, here, we'll bring you over to it. Ooh. Oh, this is very fancy. Casimir ever been here before? We asked him that. I did ask him that, yeah. I didn't yes. get a reply from him, though, either. Should we or plop ourselves on the map? <clears throat> cryptic Casimir. Indeed. Um, for for what it's worth, Peter, I'm sort of on extra lookout for um, anything that looks like a um, goat. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy demon goats. No. Um. Um. God, this is so fucking long ago. Um, the amber doors that I saw in my vision on my first night in Barovia. Um. You. Oops. Do not see anything of the sort, though. The sheer amount of amber and such around you does make you consider this may be somehow related. Seems likely. So, what do you think? Should we go in the front door or explore this other little passage we see to the side? First, we check for traps. Well, obviously. I'll do that. Um, well, we should at least take a peek down, whatever that is over there. Okay. I will stealth over to the side. So, yeah, you can see this, um... Oh, that's too big. Mm. We'll adjust that. There you go. May I... Uh, where are you going to? I'm going to open? sneak over here and peek around the corner, see what okay. I see. Make a perception check. Oh, wrong. So that's a 26 on stealth and a 13 on perception. Okay. You think you hear there, you can certainly see there is a um, small crack. There is some light emanating through it and you hear muffled voices from within. Hmm. I sneak back to the group and I say, there's a crack in the, the mountain face. It appears to angle inwards and there's light and voices coming from it, but I don't know. Would it be possible to go through the fissure, TM, or was it too small? Um, and, you know, a medium-sized person could right. probably fit. 
Let's go I would look. like to have a better look at it. Because I'm sure it's dark in there. And I shall oh, yes. It. Well, no, there was light coming from it, actually. There was light coming from the fissure in the wall? Yes. And, and voices. Huh. That doesn't no. sound normal for mountain fissures. Well, neither does a activist like this. So the question is, is that the sneaky way in around all the traps and dangers? Or, and then he points to the steps going down, is this the sneaky way in around the traps and dangers? What's this? In the wall? Um, that is a, that is what appears to be sort of the front door. You can see a bit further into what appears to be a railing, and then everything disappears into darkness beyond that. And the thing do the, the four circles mean? Holes, yeah. yeah, do those little things? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I... Those look to be murder holes, indeed. Ah. I Joke. would say that going down the large open entrance with no door is the simpler way to go about it. Surely they wouldn't expect us to take this route. Surely they have guarded their little crevice. They'd know about this lapse in their defense more than anyone. We should go straight in. It's the last thing they'd expect. Maybe. Ethelflaed. Your logic confuses me. Yes. <laughs> Why did you try and hear what they're saying in that crevice? That's... Yes, sir. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. I'll go, All right, I'll go, go ahead and make a stealth check. I won't and, go with. Uh, if you are indeed sneaking, as you say. Sneaky, sneaky, 17. Almost as good as just one go. Ooh. All right. And, and then do I need to do perception or investigation? Perception. Are you listening or you're looking both? Both. You're focusing on. Yeah. Getting whatever information I can get. Okay. So 16. 16, getting that close, you can hear bits of conversation. You also can see in and see just barely. This will take, since it's, you know, not an easy thing to reveal, I'll kind of do it stepwise. You can see what appears to be a large wolf laying on the ground, <laughs> sniffing up in the air. You also see a man with a large axe sort of lounging on a bedroll next with a torch next to him. Um, he's sort of half propped up and seems to be gnawing on some sort of jerky or something. He's wearing animal furs, has a war paint across his face. Huh. Everyone, I... And you I... can hear a bit of their conversation. It sounds like they're talking about um, when they resume the hunt and... Uh, make the trek back down. Okay. Do, I'm, do you I'm think they're hunting for the giant goat? <laughs> oh no! I'm. They might think that's me. Um, you look nothing like it. You're fine. I'm wearing it. <laughs> um, I guess I shall speedily return, and. Uh, everybody. So I was able to look into the space and there is a huge wolf, even it looked like it could be the size of the goat. And then there was this I mean, I almost thought it was another ranger. It was just this creature man looking thing and he was eating a piece of meat and, and he was talking to someone that I couldn't see uh, about about a hunt starting up and I think we could probably go talk to them I don't think they're looking for a fight and I don't think that they're defending this area I think they might have just found a crevice and are hiding from the weather like we did hmm. well. you, you got that good of an impression from them I mean, I'm a ranger. Wolves in this area have not proven to be very friendly. I'm not totally sure that wolf is from here. Why? It didn't seem to be guarding. It didn't look to be particularly undead or unnatural. 
and it didn't notice me. Did the hunters that we met in Valaki have war paint on their faces? They did not. They seem pretty normal. These resemble more closely the um, the people you fought at the um, yeah. ritual circle. Uh, mm. The oh, the, bar- the, the the the, the uh, berserkers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the guys that took a nice chunk out of me. Mm. Good. Well, if well, you think they're friendly, Athelad, I think it's worth maybe seeing if I could. Nope, I don't have that spell yet. Uh, well, we could we can go in and we can make it clear. I was going to say guns blazing, but that doesn't that metaphor doesn't work here. Well, maybe um, somebody could distract them while somebody else went in the other way. Or if we had someone who was very quick on his feet and clever, we could draw out the wolf, and I could try to communicate with it. Did the wolf look like it was small enough to come through the? It got there somehow. Yeah. I well, there. I look on the floor. Talking we'll about see. this, I want to just take like ten feet forward, ten twenty feet forward, and just peek around a little bit more. Can we see wolf prints? Um. Yeah. Make a survival check, uh, Claire. Moving that far forward, and you can see then that this, the chamber beyond here, is enormous. You can see a bit further out before just Holy darkness shit. again. 17 What's survival. This. Uh sorry, what? What's this? What's what? That's a railing that's broken. Oh. So there's like a there's like so a I'll this reveal situation. Like this. This kind of looks like that, yeah. Okay. We could have one group come in loudly from one way, and another group come in quietly from another way. Then if they are unfriendly, we will have the advantage, and if they are friendly, then there is nothing lost. Let me check something first. I, I'm going to look for wolf prints. Okay. And I want to see if the wolf prints suddenly turn into human prints. Interesting. 17. 17. You definitely see um wolf prints where are there they is no transition are they at the entrance they, where we're at or the cracked entrance um the cracked entrance so they could have squeezed through them squeezed in yeah what do you say a attack from both directions or talk from both directions oh. oh yes a noisy ingress where someone is speaking and making and a distraction um, you know i i misspoke the wolf print will lead into the temple the main area the main entrance um, okay it is not large enough for the wolf to get through okay yeah. i'll just i'll say the wolf came through they both came through this entrance not the correct entrance you're muted i'm Harry. inclined to just go in you're still muted, Harry. I say, I'm freezing out here. Let us not waste any more time. Jeswell, if you want to take someone and go in from the other side, let us go inside. Oh, very well. And uh, if that is what you think we should do, Claire? Just watch your step. I'm going to look Let's on the floor quietly. in front of us. You should probably take the lead since <laughs> you're going to be a lot more quiet than I will. Do we want to go in the front or to the side? Are we splitting up, or are we all going in at once? I think we can all just, I think we should stick together. Okay. Yes. They may not take time to being snuck up on, so yes. I will sneak, and I will sneak underneath the murder holes if I can. Okay. Yeah, you can just try and um, duck down below them. Just watch your steps and follow what they, where they trod. If they, yes. If their um, are still do there. you see any traps ahead, Alinus? I, don't I mean, I'm just checking out to see. I just, you're the trap master, but I'll look up. No, no, I'm definitely not the trap master. I mean, I will look, of course, but I... Uh... I will look. If you're going to look, you could give me you could give me advantage. I can't. I'm not proficient in perception. Really? Wow. But I will also look. 
I am proficient 18. in perception, and I will help you as I, uh, in case there are any hunting traps. This is investigation, sorry. I was using investigation. Well, I've got investigation <clears throat> as well. Oh, really? Okay, if you give me advantage, yes. then I will roll again. You're proficient? Yes. Proficient? Proficient. I am perfectly uh, proficient. You! Oh, was Both that... Both ends of the spectrum. <laughs> you look... Um, in question, looking at the floor and looking at the murder holes, are you looking... Are you uh, looking into the murder holes as you do this? Yeah. Uh, me? Yes. Um, obviously, I'm just... I'm checking the floors okay, first. Okay, okay. Okay. And... When coming to the murder holes, I will very slowly sort of like peek. But not like my whole head. Yeah. You know? No no quick peek. <laughs> yeah. You're not doing that. <laughs> you I, see, jiggle peek. I jiggle peek. Yeah, jiggle peek. All right. Um. <laughs> you, know, you know I've always got the advantage if I jiggle peek. You do, yeah. yeah. Uh, peeker, pe peeker's advantage. Yeah. Um, so, again, you see this vast sepulchral darkness um, beyond you. But there's nothing on the floor. The, the um, stone floor is solid. There are no, um, no uh, pressure plates or trip lines or anything like that. Looking to your left through a murder hole, you see what must have been an empty guards chamber. With your phenomenal roll, you can look back towards the end of that room and see that there is, in fact, most likely a secret door secret there. Tunnel. Looking to the other side here, you see a 20-foot square room, but slumped in the northwest corner here is a skeleton wearing a blue wizard's robe and clutching a wand to its chest. <gasps> oh my god, I've just got hard. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> DMI. Oh. Um, <laughs> and there is another secret door there. Okay. Well, we know where Elimus wants to go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stealth ahead. Everyone ready? I can't reduce person. I mean, I don't have that spell. Yeah, I've rolled a 26 for stealth. Okay. And I will sneak ahead and I will duck underneath the murder holes just in case. There's nothing in there, but we need to head right. All right, I will head right. I will trust you. And I will sneak to the corner and stop. Okay. And... Yes, you will see that this um, landing extends here, and I'm going to reveal a bunch of stuff and spiel about it for a bit. Okay. Ooh. So you get to this point. Oh, oh Jaswaldo, oh. can you see in the darkness at all? I no. Will, I was going to say I will whisper the words, Damihi Lux, and cast it on a small stone, and then like hold on to it and, and pass it to him. So I say just open your hand slightly to allow a little light out. Got it. All well, with your flashlight. Like you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> there is sorry, it's not a, something I commonly do. First of all, there is this twenty-foot-wide balcony that you stand on the edge of right now. Um, there's a shattered railing um, to your north, and it overlooks a vast temple. Black marble staircases at each end of the balcony descend thirty feet to the temple floor. The vaulted ceiling is about thirty feet above the balcony. The walls and ceiling are covered in an amber glaze, lending the room a strange golden sheen. A set of amber doors stands closed at the west end of the balcony. A similar pair stands on the east. Um, you will notice there are more murder holes here, 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 and here. Now on the main floor, well, first of all, do you approach to look? Do en any of the rest of you approach to look into here? I motion them all forward. Into where? Having not into died. Into the main hole. And Casimir will come forward. Yeah. Uh, where am I? 
All right, we know that there is a wolf and at least two to the left, and hmm. that is all. Should we confront them first? Yes. Might as well. Right. So, and just so you know what you're looking at in the main room here, um, some more, uh, some more a text. Four black marble columns uh, support the vaulted ceiling here. Um, at the north end of which stands a 40 foot tall statue of a cowled figure in flowing robes. The statue's stony hands are outstretched as if in the middle of casting a spell. Its face is void, is a void of utter blackness. The ominous statue stands between two black marble balconies, one of which has partially collapsed and fallen on the temple's black marble floor in front of an open archway. Um, so there are archways underneath here. Um, I can take you to the floor layer should you go down there. All right. The walls of the temple are sheathed in amber and the doors leading from it are made of amber as well. Arched hallways coated with amber lead the way from the temple to the west and east. Flanking these exits are alcoves that hold white marble statues of robed human wizards with pointed hats and golden staffs. One of them is toppled over and lies shattered on the floor. Which you can't quite see, but there are essentially passages over here, over here, and this then is extensive. here. So yes. the, I guess the question is, are the people to our west enemies? In which case we are in a good position to surprise them. Or are they allies? In which case we should uh, speak to them first. I know the last uh, time we met a barbarian, he was turned into an ally. But I do not believe that the news has reached this star. We could try to at least some get in, get some information out of them. They might know more about what's up here than we do, at least in specifics. They might have encountered something already. I will. I will sneak around to the side the... and position myself in such a way that I can jump out and attack from a hidden location. Should that be the case, give me two minutes and then open the door. I suppose. While he's doing that, I'm going to look to the floor. Do the wet puddles from the feet lead left only, or do they also lead right? <laughs> Um, based on your previous check with those footprints, it there isn't a lot of moisture, but um, you can see where they've displaced even some dust and tracked in some dirt and such, and that will lead just to the left. Okay. Right. See you in a few minutes. And I will run out, and when I get to here, I will begin to stealth. With a 16. Okay. And I will move and begin to carefully, making sure that it's coming up on the two minute mark, I will carefully begin to creep down the tunnel. Harrison will count to the two minute mark and then approach the door and knock on the door. I'll stand by him. And then I will, you will open hear the door. a fierce <laughs> bark. Um, uh, come out from inside um, and uh, you will hear them um, you'll hear shh, shh, shh. hey down boy who is it out there I open the door it is barred from the inside goodness sake awfully nippy out here gentlemen just wondering if we could share in your fire Um, sharing our fire, huh? You hear a, a woman's voice, but deep, um, gravelly. What do you think, boys? Shall we let them share our fire? <laughs> you hear some, uh, some laughter. And just while as you start to creep down the tunnel, you see there is not just one, but there are five berserkers and um, they are led by what seem uh, 
woman with enormous muscles okay. um, clothed in animal skins, bits of hide armor, and a, uh, carrying a huge bladed battle axe. She is the one speaking. If I hear her oh, say damn. this... Like, All right, so I'm going to attack. Oh. Wait, can, I, wait, can wait. I call out to the wolf and try to, like, calm him down and try to see if he'll, like, say anything? Um, so you, you can't see him right now. The The doors are still closed. But um, Woof. about the time Jeswaldo goes in, one of them flips the bar off the door and it tumbles open. And it sounds like you guys are attacking, yes? I guess so. <laughs> I heard uh, Jeswaldo's yes, is I'm, going I'm, to I'm, move I'm, forward. I am, with he is, at least. <laughs> I am definitely attacking. This is, All right. this is a combat. I'm positive. We will um, go ahead and get your initiatives ready. We will resume this combat after a short break. Ah. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for sticking around with us. Um, just a quick little recap. Beginning of the session, the party um, hunkered down in a tower to make a fire, but not before getting knocked off the side of the cliff by a giant goat. Hey! <laughs> in the case of our paladin. Um, Hello, Mal. A Slade said goat, which the ranger is now wearing this big luxurious pelt. They made their way up to the, all the way up to the temple and have found a room full of what seemed to be barbarian-like hunters, berserkers, led by um, a particularly imposing woman with a giant ax. And Jeswaldo has just made his intentions known to move in and well, aggressively, at least. And so initiative was called for. Though, party, you can do whatever you would like to try and change the outcome. Just know you can probably just maybe sense or see that just Waldo is uh, moving into attack, feeling like- Amehameha! But, but, but before that, <laughs> before that, we just wanted to wish Sean oh. a happy birthday, didn't we? We yes, do, we yes! Did. Uh, so, you no, know, my daughter and I have the same birthday. So, this year oh. she is turning 43 and I am turning 12. Nice. So, Makes sense. Make appropriate gift decisions. <laughs> well, happy birthday to you and your daughter. I'm not going to sing. I Thank wanna, you so much. I want to torment you. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. three. <No. laughs> Aww. <laughs> Wait, happy, happy birthday from all happy of us to day you. Day. We wish it was our birthday so that we could party too. Hey, hey. That works. <laughs> That'll be fine. That's all we need. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Now we carry on um, to die. Harrison. I know. It's like, oh. You're first up. They uh, turn to you looking confused, though, and gripping their weapons more tightly. However, you can see the um, leader uh, who I sort of showed before looking like a magic card, um, looks out the door to sort of pass you towards Athelflaed and her eyes kind of widen a bit. I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure I'd be able to read that just from looking over my shoulder, but I will look at her and uh, through the crack in the door, I will say, um, my friends and I were just hoping that we would share your fire and I'll cast enemies abound on her. Okay. Hopefully. Awesome. DC 15. I just wanted very to cool. say as well, thank you very much, Snake Spinner, for the bits. And I think we all need to roll a d20. Indeed. Uh, oh, oh, cool. First, first one ever of the channel uh, not that we've ever me. had to do this because <laughs> this is a very new thing. Oh, Jeswaldo and I tried. Oh. Oh, no. Come on. I have to do better than that. Oh. Who won? Who won? And the DM gets to roll as well. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, I'm one off. Roll ah. off, Elena. Come on. Oh, okay. Yeah, come on, roll off. Whoop. No! Dang it. Roll like shit. It's the birthday Boom. boy. <laughs> hey. Jeswaldo gets a D6 it's inspiration. It's the birthday, birth, birthday boy. Thank, uh, thank, thank you very you much. Snake snake spinner. Spinner. Oh, you he can have given, it then. Yeah. You have given Jeswaldo mm -hmm. inspiration. A D6 All right, uh, saving throw, it. I believe. Yes. Yeah, DC 15, intelligence saving throw. Oh, intelligence saving throw. I have a 13 as my result. Okay, yeah, well, that fails. So what happens is I reach into their mind. One creature I can see 
Uh, makes an intelligent saving throw. Okay. Uh, a creature automatically succeeds if it's immune to being frightened. Is she immune to being frightened? I only question because she's a barbarian or something, right? Um, she were no, raging. but... Okay, she has... I get to roll again. She's got... Oh, she'll have... Yeah. She okay. has advantage against this, but she still fails. Oh, good, right. Uh, on a failed save, the target loses all ability to distinguish friend from foe, regarding all the creatures it can see as enemies until the spell ends. Each time the target takes Jeez. damage, it can repeat the saving throw, ending it on a success. When it takes damage, <laughs> not when she damages anything else. So she's so her turns, a big axe and hit her friend. She Amazing. sees all, all her barbarians around her puppy. are now dressed in the armor of a retainer of House Slater. So they all wow. have my emblem on them, and they all just look to her with my face, I guess, as well. So, oh, that's weird. Hell, basically. Indeed, yeah. A lot of people might consider this hell. Aww. Hopefully her too. Um, Certainly whenever weird. the affected creature chooses another creature as target, it must choose targets at random instead and use its attack. Okay. So she can't tell. Everyone around her looks like an enemy, including us, of course. Cool. Very cool. All right. So, um, just out of curiosity, I don't think Jiswalda was in a position to see this, but was it Athelflaed she was looking at when her eyes widened? Indeed. Probably because she's wearing the goat pelt and the goat horns. She recognizes game, Eventually. recognizes game. Casimir mm -hmm. will move over here. He will reach out a finger and point, and you will see a tiny bead of light form at the tip of it. And then it will shoot out, and you will see an enormous... Fire. Oh, Jesus. A uh, bit of fire go Not the puppy. right there. That's kind of perfect, huh? No. Wow. Mm. And that you guessed well, it. I guess we're being aggressive. Is a fireball. Well, he's taking your lead. So, uh, let's see. Twenty-six, and I've got one, two, three, four. Damn, I kind of save to the talk puppy. To <laughs> um, deck saves. One, two, three. Uh, two fails. So this. And uh, and then the puppy. <gasps> the puppy. Will Not the puppy. And the big lady. <laughs> she has some nice saving throws. Will succeed. All right. She should also make a. She took damage, so she needs to save versus. Um, yeah. Harrison's spell. Hmm. 15 intelligence. All right. Glad you get her. Oops. I said what she is. Uh, she's got an eight. So she's no, it's not going to do it, unfortunately. So these two back here look particularly roasted by that. Um, everything else saved for half damage. And that brings us to just Waldo's turn. You leave that dog alone. <laughs> You're not going to be able to tame it. You don't know that. <laughs> it is an enormous wolf. So, if that makes any difference. This All makes right. it better. Jeswaldo will call out, you are clearly outmatched. I suggest you surrender, throw down your arms, and you will no longer be cooked by giant balls of magic fire. <laughs> All right, um, intimidation. He said you're going to attack and now you're trying the fucking in. <laughs> <laughs> I've rolled a one. Oh, no! <laughs> for a, for a no. total of two. I was very clear earlier, no more nat ones allowed. I'm sorry. I even said it in chat, so it's on record. Um, Jaswalo was going to attack before the fireball. He thought that this was, if it was going to be a good time to intimidate, this would be it. Apparently he was wrong. Four is not going to quite do it. Uh, it Might have been, but... Any Anything else for Jaswalo? <laughs> You have he hears, his voice. He hears the, the quiver in his voice. Yeah, he's not going to do a d6 on a roll of a natural one. He <laughs> uh, he hears the quiver in his own voice. And he thinks, well, I, hmm, that probably really sucked. <clears throat> and then he's going to back out and hide on the other side of the, the wall here. 
You hear this kind of, you see them look over their shoulder. Kind of <laughs> just laughing at your... Um, God damn it. <laughs> These people Claire. are being controlled by a particularly cruel man. Oh, boy. Let's get some combat music, Mr. Oh, Snarky DM. Thanks. <laughs> Do we have any sort of I don't know what the plan is anymore? Manage. The plan is leave the puppy alone. You really want that goddamn puppy. I do. We don't have an animal companion. Well, uh... We lost our druid. We need an animal. So the door had been like a little bit open, right? This one's dumb, sorry. Um Uh Yeah, it's open. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I, I will bonus action hide, by the way. Uh, okay, gotcha. Make that roll, and then Claire, yes, the doors are wide open now. 18. Um, I will... In this sort of round scenario, would me making an intimidation check be an action? Yes. That's what Jeswaldo did. Um, <laughs> it worked so well. Mm -hmm. I will I will just say, not trying to like say, uh, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to say, we don't have to make a fight here. But if you're going to come for it, you're going to taste blood, and I will cast Armor of Agathis on myself. Okay. Oh, Claire, eat your heart out. It's got a matching pen. It's so pretty. <laughs> now I'm going to have to start taking does... notes, I suppose. <laughs> I, I, I thought... does, does my spell make me look creepy still? Um, yeah, so the, it, everything freezes over you. You had, yeah. you take on this sort of icy look. And those of you who see Claire, it makes her look like if you pictured someone drowning in a frozen river, that sort of pale bluish color, just, tur it turns her entire skin that way. She looks like a, a corpse found, um, pulled out after falling in a lake while drunkenly ice fishing. So that's the way to go. Something you have personal experience with, Peter. <laughs> you know. Athelflaed, it's your turn. Okay. Well, I will cast. I've been waiting to cast it, so I will finally cast Speak with Animals. <clears throat> Yay. And I will say to the wolf, come with me if you want to live. That's... She's got to get a disadvantage for that. No! <laughs> you didn't use the right accent. I don't have... You can make a... Um, um, this is an action, but go ahead and make a uh, animal handling check just to see how effective this might be. 13? You hear in your head, you, um, can you understand them back then? Yes. Okay. You see it, you hear it bark and, um, you see a bit of a flash of red in its eyes and it says, you are not my master. Okay. Anything else? Um, well, since that's the case, I'm going to put Hunter's Mark on... Uh, this guy. This guy. Who spells one turn. Hate to be a stickler in the mud. Oh, no, you're right. Let me just keep casting all the spells. <laughs> I think that's about it, unless you yeah. have a... You could, you could do that as a bonus action, but... Oh, no, it's a leveled spell. Never mind. Can't do yeah. it. Yeah. Done. Cool. Um, so they go... Me, um, my goal... Um, you're, you're out of order, sir. I don't know how, but you are. I rolled last. Gotcha. 
All right, your turn. I will point a finger to her and say, Gelus Sumnus. Uh, for a 17 to hit. That will hit. I'm doing a massive no. three points of cold damage. She gets to repeat a saving throw as well. Oh, I forgot about that. God, Lee, why? Uh, I, I couldn't have seen her. Supposed actually. to be smart. I couldn't have seen her. I have to move. She rolled a 16. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. Oh, no. To be fair, I haven't I can't see her. Uh, He's just shooting in the dark. <laughs> okay. I'm around this corner. I'm all moving. Fine. So yeah, I, obviously I do it, but Yeah. So, uh, yeah I can three points forgot. of damage. She does lose ten foot of movement. Oh right, yeah, that's fine then. <laughs> she will um say then so Taste blood, huh? Been too long. And we'll grip tightly around this axe and charge forward at you, Claire. Cutting three, um, uh, three strikes. Oh boy. Um, this is gonna hurt. 20, 11, and a natural one. So, so just the first one then. Um, we'll do 11 points okay. um, of slashing damage. He takes five points of cold damage. Okay. Cool. Um, 11, you said? Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. This berserker in front of you here, Harry, will attack you with his great axe. He will do so recklessly. So to gain advantage. This is all uh, my turn then. No problems. Got yes. Yeah. Okay. Twenty-three is the number. That is it. Indeed. Twelve slashing damage. Ouch. One will come around the corner, attack recklessly at Claire here. We'll get you'll get a little bit of cover bonus. Uh, he'll only roll an eleven. Same thing here. Wow. Oh, that's uh, a wow. <laughs> what did you roll? Um, no, I just rolled more 11s, but then I rolled a, a 20 for the... Um, that's also a hit. <laughs> uh, max damage of 15. What, a natural 20? Uh, no. What's your armor class, Harry? Uh, 19. Oh, okay. The dire wolf can't really get in, but we'll just kind of circle around <laughs> growling here. Um, the berserkers, then these two will chase the, um, the guy who shouted. So <laughs> one can get to, can get to here with his 30 feet of movement. And unfortunately getting within line of sight of you, you no longer, um, having been hidden around the corner, he will be able to just look to his right and see you, I believe, unless... It depends on what the, I mean, the what the Let's die see. roll, what, what the dice roll represents. Does it represent? Does the does the die roll of the die represent looking for cover and finding a place to be hidden, or does it just represent? I mean, obviously, if stealth I just 18. if I had just run out there and around the corner, I would have obviously not needed to roll a stealth because he would sure. not have been able to steam. So. Let's see. There, are, it is a little craggy in there. Craggy. <laughs> Um, he will he not see you. You will use his action to um, look around, come out here, and start to search um, blindly. This one can only get to about here. We'll start squeezing out. To here, in fact. You can hear him trampling through the tunnel behind you. All right. Harrison, it's your turn again. I'll strike the um, this this uh, barbarian twice um, with the mighty long sword. So, uh, oh, I hope this is coming up on roll twenty because it's not coming up mm. on this. That's weird. It's rolled di rolling directly onto the roll twenty thing. But I'll use this one. It will go on, but the damage is going to be two more because I don't know why this one works, but it's 
plus six when it should be plus okay. four. And you say the one directly in front of you here? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, what's going on? Why is it not letting me roll off the tw- um, roll tw- Come on there, uh, 23. Beyond. Yeah, but I get to say it twice. Oh, okay. Uh, Technical difficulties. Come up now. There it is. Okay, cool. So uh, twenty-three. I see a twenty-three and a twenty-six. Both yep, will so. definitely hit. Cool. And um, so that's actually ten plus twelve because I don't know where the plus two is plus six is coming from. It should be plus four. Um, Julian. So, oh, that's it. Yeah, Julian, of course. I forgot. I was wondering why that could be right. So yeah, thanks for reminding me. Uh, 26 Ooh. damage plus 1d8 damage plus 1. Mm. I'm not even going to bother using a flourish on that then, I suppose. Oh wait, no, I have to. It's included in doing the damage. That will be a defensive flourish to increase my AC to 20. Okay. Um, so that one's looking pretty rough in front of that. you. That and end my turn. All right. Casimir is going to there's not a ton of great things to do. He will uh, firebolt the leader. Um, 24 to hit's pretty good for 9 points of fire damage. Alright, just Waldo. I will uh, attack the man in front of me, I'm from stealth, so I believe mm-hmm. that means I have the advantage. Twenty-seven, definitely. I will crit fish. Come on now, there we go. Three. It keeps on going. All right, so 20, <laughs> 27 for a total of 23 points of piercing damage. Ooh. And as I snake out with my rapier, I come up and I spin around him and I get into a clutch and I say, mm, so tell me, is it you that is the favorite of that dog in there? And by favorite, I think you know what I mean. And I will bonus up. Oh, wait, I don't have to do that. I can just run, leap over that rock. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And I will bonus action hide behind this statue here. Okay. You did use an action, though. You just moved about 55 feet. I didn't mean to. Let's see. I, I guess I'm. I'm That's is each what it one counted of, out to is me. Is each one of these squares a. Is each one of these squares yeah. is four total, right? Uh, correct. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, Did you say five, six. Bonus action height. But you're you're moving sixty feet. Is what I'm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and I attacked. Of course, I'm an idiot. I apologize. That's all good. Um, You're not an idiot. You just had a brain fart. Yeah. It's your birthday. <laughs> it is my birthday. Um, Let me gift you with some positive energy. <laughs> so, yeah. So that is a bonus action dash. Yes. Then. Not a bonus action hide. Though. So I will move to there. Got it. Claire, you're up. Okay. Um, oh, I suppose I will attempt... Actually, the, the one that's right here is looking not too good, correct? The one that Harrison's been laying into? Correct. All right, I will start with him then, with an attack with my long sword. Harrison's a beastie boy. Uh, 13. Uh, 13 hits. Oh, Just barely. Wonderful. Um, 10 damage. Okay. Is he still amongst the living? He is. Okay. Then I will attack him again. For an 18 and 14 damage. That is enough to send him down among the dead men. 
Down, down to Goblin Town. Down, down to Goblin Town. Down among <laughs> the dead men, let him lie. Guess we're going this route then. Also, it's you go, my land. Oh, 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 my land. Oh, oh, <laughs> goblin tree and goblin tree. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. That's going to be cycling in my head all night. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, or anything else for Claire? I think. Fifteen birds. Yeah, I'll just in five fir trees. Everybody is worth fan. Fire, fire, strong looking woman. What funny <laughs> little birds! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Claire. <Yes. laughs> Perhaps in another life you could have been. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'd want to be oh. a jerk from that with the ah, teeth. Um, uh, she will. Uh, she will look at you and kind of um, crack a grin from that and says uh, um, 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 uh, um. <laughs> see, there's still some time uh, though there's just sort of this sort of bloodlust um, yeah. you can see though she keeps glancing over to this um, over to Alpha Flat that's obvious so. Elimus I now it is your turn hit her with a ray of yep. frost armor class 15 Okay, hits. 11 cold damage. 11 cold damage. And that's me, dumb. Where there's a whip, there's a way. <laughs> no. we, can't, we can't keep going. I know, it's like, we'll Ethel just end flag. up doing the whole thing. You're up. Oh, oh God. Um, I guess I will move for better vantage. The puppy is made. The, um, well. Anyway, you probably saw that. This leader is staring at your fur in between the um, things, and sort of the other barbarians are taking notice, too. But yeah. Let's come on. So. We can talk to these people, right? Um, you're the one that wanted combat. <laughs> well, you know, combat's fun, but it's also interesting to get backstory on NPCs. The dog yelled at me. I tried. Yelled him back. I'm, I'm going to. So... Uh, I guess I will, since I still have my speaking with animals, I will holler out towards the wolf. Holler. I will holler and let him know there's nothing hanky going on and uh, say, oh, say something like, um, you know, why are you attacking? We're not your enemies. But I don't expect that to work. So I would like to fire an arrow into the me. leader's knee. Join the dark side. We don't want to go to work the, today. The barking um, in the, uh, the, the wolf is letting loose her in between wool. Um, I won't say the exact words. It will suggest that, though, with these berserkers for now, he is in fact a um, servant of Strahd himself as a dire wolf and will not do what you tell him probably right. ever. So, okay. Um, no need to waste any action economy, but as he responds, he will tell that this is not a regular wolf. This is a servant of the lord of this realm okay no puppy for me then uh i will bonus attack into the servants into the woman's knee sounds like yeah take an arrow to the knee or just you know a regular attack but unless you're actually trying to aim for the knee but literally aiming aim to, for the knee which is non are you you're non doing non-legal damage is basically what you're saying well you cannot do that with a ranged attack in the rules of 5e um any ranged attack is potentially lethal if you would like to well if there's something you're trying to, to do dagger. with this well you can just shoot her shoot her shoot her and just hope it kind of lethally kneecaps her um yes i'm fun so, out the thing is just as like the, the quick 30 second ability like there are different classes with features that for instance hitting them with a ranged shot will like reduce their speed or something um, and so, you know, that's not necessarily something in your class feature. So you can throw an attack, you can use a spell. You've got a lot of options at your disposal, but aiming for a kneecap, you know, unless 
you're willing to roll with disadvantage for maybe a small effect. Yeah, um, no, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. I won't kneecap her. I'll do it in my mind. Then I will shoot her twice with my bow. Shoot her. Shoot her. In the wherever. Hey, shoot her non-lethally in the face. <laughs> I don't like her staring at me. <laughs> oh, <Both> eyes then. <laughs> so it's a 21. Oh. So it's a 21 for 7 and a 23 for 7? Both will hit. <laughs> Stop she staring She will take at me. both arrows. <laughs> but it seems to not hardly affect her. I mean, it does damage, but she is um, uh, in a bloodlust. Mm -hmm. Seems to be enjoying the rage of battle. Anything else for Athelflaed? Nope. Oh. Speaking of bloodlust, this guy will run around the corner here. It's about as close as he can get. And he will throw um, a javelin at you. That's me? You just ran over there, correct? I just ran over there. Indeed, he will throw it. And he will... Over here! <coughs> As he coughs up some blood and spits it, creating this red splotch in the snow next to him. Five... Oops. Ten, fifteen. This one will come to here. He does not have a javelin. He will just ready his axe and ten. We'll just dash to here, ready to continue um, pursuing the prey. Uh, one attack against the paladin with a 16 to hit from the berserker. Dings off the armor. Three attacks from the leader. I have 16, 17, and 9. None of those hit. Wow. All right. I imagine some fanciful shield blocking and yeah. sword business. So then the um, one next to Harrison will make the attack. We will have a 23 to hit. Sorry, Harrison. Five points of slashing damage. Yeah, he will then step back as the wolf barks angrily, wanting in on all of this. Uh, Harrison can make a opportunity attack, should he wish. Oh, right. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do that. And the wolf will spring forward. Okay. I might need the shield. That's why. Uh, he will crit you. <laughs> um, oh, it's always, no. Always a hit, so I can't shield this, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, um, I, it's, I should have taken the opportunity. It's, <laughs> it's not great. It's a. Oh. It's um, fifteen points. Not of great. Piercing. You oh, need to make a um, strength saving throw. Okay. Okay. Um, thirteen. It's just what you need. You are not knocked prone from its bite. I'm really trying to conserve good. my resources, guys. But you're not making this easy. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, listen, I'm taking care of two of them, all right? Harrison, you're up. <laughs> uh, well, I better hit the wolf, I think. I think it's already been damaged by the fireball. Well, everything's it has. been damaged by the fireball, so. Um, two long sword attacks. That's an 18 and a 12. Um, 18 will. Uh, uh, so 18 will hit, 12 will okay. miss. Well, I'll do the damage and I'll use another bardic inspiration to flourish for an extra 2 damage, uh, meaning it's 15 damage and I'll increase my AC to 21. Did you know, Harry, cool. that you could add your bardic inspiration or flourish to your attack actions in D&D Beyond? Whoa. If you want what? to attack. I can, I, you know, you can do this. I, I didn't realize how, though. I've been trying to figure it out. I can help but, you afterwards, it's fine. Yeah, not for now. Yeah. That ends my turn. Cool. Casimir will firebolt the thing. The thing? The decent hit right there. The uh, wolf. Thank you. That's uh, He does a nice uh, 13 damage with that firebolt and will destroy the wolf. <gasps> 
Wow. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. for it. Fall fire. over burning. Oh. Uh, smell of scorched have to have fur. A Claire has a crazy horse. I wanted a crazy wolf. Has <laughs> Waldo. So I'm right in thinking that the man who's closest to me is not the one I've been attacking? Correct. All right, well, I will attack him. Oh, did you get jealous? I was playing too much with your friend, and I will stab him. <laughs> <laughs> Why will my action not come up? I'm sorry. d d Beyond is giving me problems. There we go. That's better. I uh, strike with a 23. <laughs> doing a super hit. 29 <laughs> points of Ooh. piercing damage. Amazing. It goes through his uh, his stomach, oh. and you think probably pierces a kidney out the back side. Oh. Of, you know. I rip he it out. Runs. <laughs> Put my blood uh, splatter his blood in the face of his uh, his friend, oh. and then keep running. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I will bonus action run. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully getting a little cover from any potential javelin attack. Mm-hmm. Clear. They're dead All trying right. to follow you. No oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will... So this guy over here, if I try to attack him, he's going to have some some cover business, correct? That's correct. Okay. I... What's your... So what's your interest in my friend back here? And I'll, you know, nod towards Ava Flood and her dazzling, gigantic, demon goat, <laughs> whatever the fuck she's wearing. I was like, even if it's not demon goat, we should call just, it demon goat. You're just yeah. making some casual conversation in round yeah, three well, yeah, that all, yeah. Um, What else and, do you do? And um, uh, I'm actually going to hold my action. Um, I will attack her if she attacks me on her turn. Okay, hey, just to just to note, um, as the held action, you don't get your full multi attack. You would only yeah. get one. I, I I remember okay. that from last time. Now, cool. or rather, I will attack any the first. Per or, I will hold an attack against something that is aggressive towards me. Okay, that's what I'm. That makes it. sense, Elimus. Um, I'm not much for chitter chatter, so he will shoot her again. Never uh, been one for conversation anyway. Hits. <laughs> um. For ten, 10 damage. All right. She's looking a bit frosty. Mmm. Join the club. Athelflaed, you're up. Okay, so Claire just had a chit chat, and because we and we don't have the answer yet, right? No. Correct. Um, but she is again kind of staring at you, in between swings at your friend hit the other guy <laughs> i don't think i have clear line of sight for the other guy i would but i don't think i do because because of the door edge yeah he has cover um you yeah. could maybe move to here and get like, like partial cover it's not three quarters but it's still gonna make it more difficult move, to hit move up and get good shot on the one on the, like, down the bottom yeah you could do that if you moved like right here yes i shall do so yeah, that. Pretty straight shot right there. Yeah. Let's let's cast mm, mm -mm, bonus action casting Hunter's Mark on him. Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. Do it. Do the thing. There we go. And then... I guess I will shoot at him twice. Fortunately, natural one will miss automatically, but he um he reckless attacked me before he, he ran away. He did. You're right. I forgot about that. So you get he to use those little advantage. icon thingies. Mm-hmm. I get to roll that one technically with advantage. 
Yeah. Yes. So yeah. we'll call that a 17 for a hit. So you can go ahead and roll with advantage for the second one. Oh, with advantage after I've already clicked it. Dummy. And the so 19 the... will hit. So that'll be a pair of hits. Four, it looks like. 12. Six. 16. 16 plus the 10. Oh, yeah. Plus 10. Yeah. 26. Ooh, a pair of ten. firm strikes. Six plus four from the. Yeah, the, plus the, the hunter's oh, yeah, yeah, mark. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So it's 24 damage. Yeah. A good pair of strikes. They will go, and you will hear her say, <laughs> um, The great keeper of Sangzor's pelt to challenge us. <laughs> well, we must persevere then. No. Damn it, demon goat. Um, <laughs> demon goat for the She's fail. coming to test us. No. <laughs> demon goat giving us headaches even after it's dead. Oh, hmm. Um. And let's see. Hellers, they should have been found worthy. Hey. <laughs> they will shift here. Sorry, I just want to find out what their story is. Maybe they'll have left the journal. They always leave a journal. I wanted to talk to the dog and then we killed it. I didn't touch it. Because he was One. a jerk. Reckless again, attack against the paladin. Okay. Um, will come in at a. Action. Yes. Um, I'm Let's going to longsword attack with blooming blade. If it will roll. Uh, wait, I don't. Oh, oh, the first one. Uh, twelve to hit. If he's well, hit. He's reckless. Isn't uh, he? You you don't get disadvantage. You get advantage, so you would have. Um... No, no, I I accidentally rolled twice. I, that was yeah. A... You get advantage anyway. He's reckless. Oh, okay. Well, but I wanted the better dice roll on you, my. You game. can keep the, you can keep the first dot of damage. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So there's that, and then. I don't think that's how it works. It's the first dice of rolled. I didn't I know thought. I had advantage. Um, well, in, in any event, um, he also takes right now um, some uh, thunder damage. He takes one thunder damage right now. All right. I We have to straighten that out, however that is. That's why rolling with advantage helps. So remember, guys, yeah. you can shift click your attack. Yeah. That will make it roll with advantage. So it should, um, it should so be the get... first lot of damage. Because that would have that's been That's what I'm usually yeah. doing too, and that's mm -hmm. what I've added. But just so yeah. in the future. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry. I'll do that when I know so I have All advantage. good. <laughs> um, so he will recklessly attack you um, again. He doesn't yeah. care. 24 to hit, 14 yeah. slashing. How many? 14. 14? Okay. Seems remarkably strong. Like they're doing extra damage to you a bit. Mm. Maybe just their martial mm -hmm. training. Uh, three attacks at you from the uh, leader again, who seems desperate to prove something. It's a weird spread again. A 13, a natural one, and then a 21. 21 hits. 10 damage. Okay. Um, both of them take... Um, I need to roll a d6. Uh, no. D6, or is it just five damage? Didn't the last one break through your five? Um, so the it broke through my... Um, extra hit dice but... yeah and then at that case the spell ends correct that's the way it works we're oh, really? yeah if you can't keep the hit points you lose the spell i didn't know that yeah a bit of a pain it's really good Even if you can it says duration it, though, for one hour yep. that's so weird i totally misread how that spell works then yeah okay but if you it, it's a thing if you upcast it as you could um for instance if you have 15 if you deal 14 points of damage if they deal 14 mm -hmm. points of damage to you they take 15 and then when that person does that extra one they also take the full 15 points of damage oh okay so it's really good if you can get multiple instances then. going it's it's really yeah. good if it's upcasted so okay yeah, that's good to know it's cool yeah it's always um, a learning process here yeah of course and happy to learn while we attack you uh this one will attack <laughs> recklessly at uh at um harrison oh, I'm at sorry, 17. i missed whatever the damage was that she dealt me 17 is his attack with advantage yes it was 10 the one that hit was, yeah. was 10 That's, damage uh, I missed 
All right, it will clank off your shield and you can respond. Indeed I will, and I will, is it holding shift to attack? Because I want to make sure I get used to this. Indeed. Mm -hmm. okay. And it should yeah. get a little like green plus yeah. next to it. When you yeah. hover over it, yeah. So it's shift for advantage, control for disadvantage. Uh, 16. That advantage will make you hit. Indeed. Oh, actually, never mind. That's the one. Yeah, it would hit it. Uh, for the lowest guy down here, this, this fella mm -hmm. here. Um, for 12 damage. And it's starting to look awful. I will flourish as well. Okay. Um, for a slashing flourish this time, I guess. Hmm. Uh, which means that this 1d8 is... Oh, it's good. Yes. Nice. There's eight an extra nice. damage to him, and it's also eight damage to her. Well, he is really bleeding out. She is starting to look a kind of... What's it, like a cleave? She's looking bloody. It is a cleave, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Is it to the one up above as well? Or? Yes. No, no, just to No, these just two. one just other. To, yeah, just these two guys here. But yeah, um, I will use a bonus action and cast Healing Word on myself, because I'm pretty slim. Um, at level one. Cool. For five healing. Casimir and... will... Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Are you... Uh... That ends my turn. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Casimir will do... Oh, this guy's just barely alive. Uh, down below. It's barely hanging on after Casimir's firebolt. Just while though it's your turn. Um, I just want to be clear. Last Wait, time, I... the uh, the fellows down here moved, and they didn't this time. I forgot about them during their turn. Okay. Thank you. No problem. They will... Let's see. Got about 30 feet. You was worried about having to go back, wouldn't you? This one is going to run here and engage you. This one has one more javelin. You do have some cover. He will try to attack you, though. Uh, from here. And we got an eight for that. It is not enough. Not even close. Double I that will, wouldn't be enough. I will dispatch the man in front of me. With a 17? Yes, he will. 20 points of piercing damage. He crumples as the blade um, digs deep into his head. You will surrender or die. And I begin stepping towards the man. Okay. You see a fiery rage in the eyes. Almost as if this is what they live for. Claire. Uh, how's the uh, guy right in front of me looking? Uh, above average. Above average? <laughs> Interesting. Just um... seven. <laughs> He's from Lake Wobegon. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I will... All the berserkers are above average. Um, I'll attack him. The women are strong. Yeah, <laughs> right. There we go. <laughs> Amazing. Um, actually, public hold radio on. call Let's outs. See. When do I get those back again? Short rest. Okay. I will. Uh, vow of enmity. The fancy lady, in front of me. Do it. Vow her. Yes going down. Okay, I have um, advantage on attack rolls against her now. So I will attack her twice with my long sword. 14. Apparently I was really bad. <laughs> 14, I'm afraid, is not enough. It no! It off of her okay. studded If only you had inspiration. Armor. If only I had inspiration and it wasn't stolen by birthday boy over here. I, I don't think... Can I award it to other people? It's okay. We have a, it's, um, a D, it's a D6. Are we are we, are we thinking of it as like bardic nice. inspiration? I don't see that. Yeah. yeah. So in that case, it couldn't be awarded to somebody else. Nah, it's all good. Yeah, I, I want to veto that because like it makes, it makes bardic inspiration completely <laughs> ridiculous. Like, people are giving I'll each other trying. bardic inspiration and I'm here like... <laughs> <laughs> What is oh, this? Well, your hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Snake Spinner just do it. did it Sorry, again. Really, really important has just happened. Is Snake Spinner just did it again. So, <laughs> <laughs> row a d20, oh everyone. God. 
<laughs> Thank you very much, Snake. Oh it's not God. like this is hard. I hey, you're doing a good job. Yeah, look, oh, I just bought. Oh, I got a seventeen. Oh, oh, a lighter. Oh, I got Aldo rolled a twelve. No one. Oh, fuck? well done, Snake, you bastard! You've given it to the DM, <laughs> and he's gonna use it on me. I know it. Oh no! That's fucking no, it's all good. Uh, thanks to thank 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 a thank donator you. by saying you bastard, you. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So that's English humor. Thank you very much. <laughs> Poor Claire. Snake Spinner said it was supposed oh, to be. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't use it. <laughs> oh, it pelted yeah, away. Please don't use it against me. Yeah. No, it's okay. Oh, Whatever yeah, happens, really. happens. It's fine. Um, I did roll a 16 on my second attack. Does that hit? Yes. Yay! Okay, I'm going to smite her. I've got to say it. The dice tell a story. Fight. As Sean was stealing my motto earlier, I heard you say it on yeah. the stream. That's a good motto. So, uh, well, and it's so true. God, I can it never is. find anything it Makes here. its game unique. I will um, unique. spend a little slot here. I need to uh, patent that. Is it patent? 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 Patent. Where is my divine Both. smite? I can't find anything on my character sheet. There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, roll 20? I just want to roll things. You've done it twice. It's been, it's been playing up a tiny bit today. Yeah. You're panicking. Yeah, it's it's been killing me the last few times. Okay. Yeah, I am panicking. It's fine. So 3d8 sounds like? Yeah. So, 11 more damage on top of the 9 I rolled earlier for 20 total. Okay. She's starting to look bloodied. Okay. Bloodied plus. Well, Anything I'll else? Her down now. Elimus. I will shoot her again. Buddy just sitting here saving his spell a, slots. A, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sitting there thinking we've got more stuff coming after this. First yeah. encounter of the Amber Temple. Yeah, 19. Yeah. I rolled. That's fair. On her. Super Completely good. Completely avoidable. Only five damage. Gotcha. Oh, I would have put them in dire. They would have been messed up if I would have just cast one spell. But I just, just thought, cast nah, one spell. No, no, no. It's too late now. So it'll be a waste if I use it. Yeah, absolutely. Like... Ethelflaed, you're up. You put him, put him out with sleep. Um. Nah, they're okay. too strong for that. Yeah, right. I don't, I don't think it would have done one of them. I'd probably have to cast that at fourth level. Maybe have done one. No, and once they've taken damage, you can do it. Once they've taken right? damage, oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to shoot two arrows at. The top guy. You've got advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. He was reckless. Reckless. Mm. Just click that attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I want to, while I'm shooting him, I want to, I was going to say shout, but she's right in front of me. Uh, tell Claire to not, don't kill that lady. Like, don't kill her. We need to talk to her. Why does she want my cloak? So inappropriate. With advantage. Longbow. Shoot that guy twice. First is a definite hit. Have you moved your hunter's mark? Because I think your original target died. Am I correct in that? Or is it no, this your original target? It was this here? guy. Is this the one you're attacking to? Or... The first shot was for okay. um, the northern guy. All right, he takes seven damage. And then I will hopefully wipe the bottom guy out with the second shot. Hopefully. You will. 27? I'm assuming a 27 hit. Fall, <laughs> yes. He had one hit point, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Way to go, me. Please don't kill her, Claire. You talk like Claire's the one that's in trouble of killing her. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's I, definitely her. I mean, you're right next to us, so you would hear that, too. It's not like I'm going, please don't kill her. Just don't kill her, Claire. Claire, don't Do kill it. her. Do it. <laughs> I mean, Claire's the one most likely to kill her on accident just All by, right. you know, breathing. Excuse me? <laughs> Super strong. 
You're making me very tempted to kill her right now. (laughs) Before I forget, this one will charge forward and attack recklessly. Relax. 21 to hit. You're muted. Guessing that was a hit. That was a hit. 14 slashing. 14 slashing. I will uncanny dodge. Hmm. Very good. And the other, you'll hear the um, uh, one say, uh, Spare me? No, Sang Zorn Slayer! You do not need to spare me! I will be worthy! Fuck. And we'll keep swinging. <sighs> ba, ba, ba. One, two, three. Um, I have below 10 on two hits and then a 22, Claire. Yep. Doing this weird cross action for nine points of damage. It's super lame. The one will then recklessly attack Harrison. 18 to hit, I believe misses. Um, I'm 22 AC giving right now. 21 AC right now, so no. Gotcha. Cool. Misses. Your turn. All right, I will attack her. Twice. Um, ba, ba. The bang, the bang. Um, an 18 and a. Why is it not 20 playing attention? To it's me? bizarre. You have to sort of like hover off of it and then hover on it. Again. I got it. Yep. 18, Both are going to hit. They're non lethal. So. Oh, you're bashing her. With my shield, mostly. Uh, you. 10 and a 7. Damage. Plus 1d8 for my um, flourish. Is your shield the same damage then? 17, 23. Well, for flavor, I'm saying. Uh, 23 damage total. Wow. Okay. With 23, um, that last hit, she kind of grins at you, blood dripping down her uh, the side of her mouth. And then that last one coo, catches her just square in the forehead. Her head shoots back and she just falls backwards prone onto the ground. Half tempted to just stand over sort of Damocles style. <laughs> but um, I look back to Aether Flood and I won't kill her, I guess. Okay. Aether Flood, I have your animal companion here. I know, Kite! <laughs> it's vicious. Oh, Casimir will... Continue shooting firebolts. God damn it. <laughs> we'll hit. No, it's at the berserker. So. Okay. Um, for a hefty 15. Is it, um, is it we have. You? you want to play? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just Waldo, you're up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Just I will attack. He r- did reckless, see. correct? He did. Reckless. Reckless. You struck me, but only because I let you. You rolled a 26, mm-hmm. doing 27 <laughs> points of piercing damage. And oh. indeed, this one too <laughs> will crumple over, dead in the snow. And... I have to make sure I click on the screen after it just rolled over rolls, because it's just covered in dice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rogues, man. <laughs> So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That being the case, with that falling, and this guy has less than 20 hit points, um, with a few player character turns coming up and the leader unconscious, um, we can call the fight, as it were. Um, this is, um, mm-hmm. this guy, there's no way he will survive through this, um, whether or not you want to take him prisoner or knock him unconscious or kill him is up to you. Yeah. All right. I would him. have spent the next turn like laying into him. So yeah, yeah. he's dead. Crush, kill, maim, destroy. Yeah. Just tell All me right. to spare someone. So you now have <laughs> not her though. This woman unconscious. Um, kick her. Yeah, kick her <laughs> away from her. Um, <laughs> Just kick her. <laughs> now. <laughs> um. Just while the cubs around the corner, <laughs> the line is. So, how's it going over here? I'm walking here. We're good. What? You okay? 
Ah, yes, see, Sam. We'll see. Just a scratch. Okay. Oof. That hurt. Like I said, um, I'm just like, looking at her. Like, yeah. trying to figure out why she was so fixated on me. Well, it's seen, it sounds like, you know, they were up here to hunt. Yeah. If their prey, if their quarry was the creature that we fought yesterday, you brazenly wearing the pelt of it that they would so easily recognize, they got fired up by that. But what makes, but she kept saying that she was worthy. Well, did you say that she was? I said nothing. Nothing about worthiness. Well, saying nothing is never fun. Well, let's well, wake her up and find out. Jesus. At the very least, maybe she will be able to, I don't know, tell us something about the temple. Yeah. Okay, and maybe in exchange, maybe you can tell her that she proved her worthiness and give her Let the tie her up. Yeah, oh, that's I've a got idea. some rope. Say, <laughs> I've got up. manacles. Ooh. Even better, yes. <laughs> manacles. What's happening? <laughs> you just manacles. You just that walk around with manacles. Excited. I've got a whole bunch of shit we've never used. <laughs> I want to make a hinky joke, but <laughs> it was a Life of Brian reference. But you can tie it. Yeah, I'm right over my so head. Monty Python. I got it. Yeah. Oh, damn, um, I would have usually got that. Yeah, we can between some manacles and some rope, we can yeah. tie her up yeah. from running off anywhere. They only hung me right side up yesterday. <laughs> I'm Brian, and so is you, Lottie, 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 Lottie. <laughs> You've been a naughty boy. Oh, crucifixion. Okay, right, oh. Anyway. Let's oh not rub the scene. Like, it's, it's, it's a requirement. All right. All right. Um, so she's we tied up. We can't sing Hobbit songs, but restrained. we do that. It's all yeah. good. I'll kneel down in front of her and try to shake her awake. Okay. Um, I'm conscious someone will need to um, oh. slap her. It'll be a bit before she can just... Can I, like, give her a point of, like, yeah. hit points? That'll work. Will that wake her up? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah, I'll just <laughs> single point. <laughs> she will... <laughs> Calm down. Her. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Hey, big guy. <laughs> Sun's going real low. <laughs> I did ask you a question earlier. You're interested in my friend? She punched me. That was rude. Who's we here? <laughs> <laughs> Is your husband me. choking again? <laughs> um, you, you hear. Uh, <laughs> she has the pelt. She is stronger. And? What? What do you want? Well, what does that mean for you? So she's stronger, so what? So then kill me and be done with it. Why so would we kill you for... I don't understand because why... Because we you failed think... to pass your test. Who told you that there doing, was a right? test? I don't understand. What are you doing here? We just came for some uh, meat and found this big goat and we just killed it easily and and skinned it and when we ate it, it was very tasty. <laughs> That's typical. And you are wise. great hunters. Worthy why of respect. You, why were you so eager to attack us? You sound like you've got a lot of fat underneath that plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, rather like insulting, her. really. That's very rude. You know. It is rather rude. I'm only asking a question. She's right, but it's rude. I don't know about you, but... You sounded like easy targets. Oh, you eat, you eat other the humans, you don't you? That's right. They're cannibals. <laughs> it's hey, only had to be done once when we were stranded up here for a long time. And only after the one died already. Only under necessity. No. We're hunting. Why are we taking refuge here in the temple? Because they were taking refuge. But why here in the temple? There was a tower. We stayed there. 
Yeah, but it was locked. That, that front door all, is locked. We almost hard. freeze froze to death, of course. <laughs> they almost Plus freeze froze. Yeah. Strange wispy spirits up on top. Yeah, we've not anymore. Though we've been told, like this, like the fiery, like the fire spirits beyond that door there. Fire Have you strange what things door left where? behind from those damn mages? You watch your damn She'll mouth. Nod to this door. <laughs> That stupid wizard could kill them all. No, you're going Even with that out. fancy staff. Oh, you had me at staff. Carry on. Tell me of the story. I don't know. Oh. We bolted that door shut. His charred body's there. Everything all burned up, but that staff is pristine. Where's the staff? I don't yeah. want anything with to do with that. On the other side of the door. What's your name? Must I answer the questions of your servants, great hunter of Sangzor? She uh, looks to you, Athelflaed. I see. She didn't even kill it. I I hit it. I, I was involved in, and I was the one that skinned it. I didn't even see it. I was having to sit down, and it was quite comfortable. So you weren't even there. Oh, okay. I think Jaswaldo killed it. Oh, really? I think that's not something that we. <laughs> oh no! Funny. Was it Harry? Sorry. A true leader. It's a funny. True leader I think I killed has a hand too. of disc as as of contempt with her followers. Yes, indeed. Cause, Sorry. Cause <laughs> can we kill her yet? No, we're not killing her right now. We're still talking to her. So well, you you're know the what? One who you know what's behind this door? Do you know what's behind any other doors? No. We only use this room to rest. It's been safe. The fiery spirits don't come through the door. And the... And the... Uh, the... Uh, whatever the spirit is in that darkness in the head of the statue doesn't bother us here either. The statue in the main room? Mm-hmm. Does we had a speak? party walk down those stairs once and heard something shout and then incinerated. Good to know. You see? Uh, this is why we don't attack first. We ask questions. Can you can you replicate that and see if it still works? <clears throat> you want you want us to send her out I'm sure. into that room. Sure, she'll do it willingly if she wants to prove herself. And I smirk. That's a little <laughs> off color there, Limus. Where are you from? What's are you based in Valaki, Barovia? Where did you come from? <laughs> I am no city dweller. The wilds are my home. Um, did you ever spend any time near a giant tree in a valley near a vineyard? Of course. Sacred place, the wall of mists. You know, that valley has been taken over by a primal champion. The, uh, can you help me with the, uh, remembering the name of the the uh, person who was who, sorry you said? Oh, okay, um, Kavan. Yes. The spirit of Kavan has uh, bestowed his favor upon a strange creature, lizard that is able to take the form of other animals and now leads people such as yourself to great wild hunts and fantastic revels. Kavan was my ancestor. I will heal and challenge him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Well, hold you would enjoy horse. that, I think, <laughs> and probably eat you afterwards. He's a friend of ours. Yes, that's you need to understand. If you would, lose, if you do lose, he will definitely eat you. It would be his right. Very well. You are strange. So, what will you do with me, Hunter? I have one last question, and then we will decide what to do with you. One last question, I will answer. Why were you hunting for the beast? Was there a specific um, benefit? It is for... a great quarry. 
Difficult to track. Hard to see against the snow. To carry the pelt of Sangzor is a great honor. I don't know. Was it hard to see, Claire? <laughs> he smirks again after hearing the story. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Okay, so then I guess I'm going to come over to everybody and click on the right screen and time to figure out what we're going to do with her. Oh, I don't want to sacrifice her to see if the security system is still working. Uh, I'm not really okay with that either. I am sort of curious if she has anything useful on her, though. Well, no, we're not going to send her out into the, uh, the snow and the cold and the mountain without a weapon. Why not? I've gone crazy, but it sounds like you're all willing to give equipment to the person who just ordered our deaths. Of course, they're what? alive. Alimus, is you challenged did, us. Is she carrying anything? I did. No such thing. I simply not. Let me check. I will oh. check her. I will check her. Her weapons, etc., etc. Okay. Go for um, her armor is simple. She's wearing furs and such. Dagger in the boot, but otherwise her nothing concealed. It's not really her style. It's... Nothing of uh, good quality. No. If her um, purse penchant is to challenge every traveler she comes across whatever the next one she comes across the lone man on the road she challenges him too and if she's stronger she kills him is this her philosophy you would let this out into the world Definitely well not. we have another option where we neither sacrifice her to the statue or send her out unsupervised yes we kill her and rid no. the world of a threat okay so that's three and then we have a fourth one and she could come with us and stab us in our sleep She's not going to stab you. And what of her fellow hunters here? You seem to know qualms in killing them. Well, you had no problem hitting them either. Of course, and I am more than happy to hit her too, if you'd like. Well, I'm saying... What I'm trying to say is that... She doesn't seem to have a problem taking commands from me. Until she challenges you. Or, I suppose, whoever is wearing... The cloak, now that she's lost by right of combat. That's so... right. I want to look to her. I assume she can hear this conversation between she can. <laughs> Very clearly. Right, she yeah, can. Right next to her. <laughs> so. You would fillet your blade into attackers in our sleep, as you are so likely to do. No, that's something I would do. I don't think that this is the kind of person like that. You Besides, will be no quite welcome to sleep around this brigand. There's no, I no honor don't in think that we kind of attack. Her. I don't think we should not bring her with us. I, I it, think it would be nice to send her to Sari as a present. The people around you talk a lot, Hunter. What will you do? I'm inclined to agree with Chiswaldo, but Thank you. apparently t um, if a flood gets the final say here. Why does she? Aethelflaed, if you send this brigand out into the world alone, she may kill another innocent, just as she tried to kill us. But the choice is yours. I don't understand why it is hers. Because, because the I'm brigand the will respect the their choice. Because I put on the cloak and so it's my choice. That's why. I'm wearing a cloak. Um, the one with the metal suit thinks me a rabbit hunter. I came to the highest peaks of Mount Gacchus to seek out Sangzor. And lost you. I may days. have failed, but I do not... I do not prey on the weak. I hunt the strong. Speak your hypocrisies to somebody else. When I was alone and knocked on the door, you thought me alone and sicked your dogs upon me. Seven against one. You didn't know I was with anyone. No, as I recall, you said, may we partake of your fight. And what is we? One, two, the, oh, the royal we, I suppose. Well, must I argue on her behalf against you, Jeswaldo, as well? Well, no, I don't particularly care what we do with her. Okay. Okay. So much talk. Um, Kill me or let me go. She has a knife. You have, a you have needs. one, you have one choice, and I will let you choose. That's but not a choice. The options are, you have, you have one choice, 
and I will give you the options. And then you have to do them, no matter what. Let me explain the options. <laughs> I'm going to explain them for the next 10 minutes. Um, option one, we send you on a glorious hunt for a very powerful enemy where you m will most likely die. But it will be a glorious death in combat. Hmm. Or you stay and fight with us against the strong enemies here in the temple. If you leave, you must swear that you will not attack any creature or being except in self-defense until you reach the primal champion. Where you will be eaten. <laughs> Can I hunt for food on the way? Small game. No sentient beings. I will take the harder path and honor your mercy, Hunter of Sangsor. That sounds like a done deal. All right. Which, which one is that? Which one did she pick? I will go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then I'm going to untie the rope. And Claire, if you could undo the manacles, please. I will undo the manacles. Then we'll you are free to go face your ultimate challenge. Oh, she so wraps a bit of a so happy. fur cloak around, grabs her battle axe, stuffs, uh, takes a couple javelins, nods, and just sprints out. I cast fire, wanna. You ask. <laughs> Boom. Do I Don't get an attack of opportunity? I mean, technically she went past me. <laughs> I won't try and... She was in my airspace. Well, <laughs> she's gone. So, <sighs> what do you think? Staff now? Or is there music after? playing or is it gone for me? No, there's no music playing. Okay, cool. Oh, weird. Curious decision, Aethel Flat. So we have... Consider it's it a done. gift for Sarev. Gift for Sari, but who should she meet on the way? What no, it's one. done. It's done. We don't need to yes, let's philosophize about lines. the morals of this. Um, did, Alimus, wasn't there something that caught your attention earlier? A few things, yes. She threw that door, but we need to prepare for that. Back there, in the murder holes, there are some powerful, potentially powerful items that could help us. But there's a secret door in the back of the room, but I don't know how to get there. Well, it's probably through that door over there. Which one? Didn't we race past a door when we were coming in here? You saw a door there that was slightly yeah. ajar. <clears throat> yeah, so I recommend we go east first. Or no, we never know which way, which way is east on this map. That's a good point. <laughs> we go, we go that way. We go west. It is. We, we it is as you expect. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, that's a door there. But I, sure, re I recommend we try to go here first. Or, okay. Or we could go through this room, and there's a powerful staff there. But there may be powerful enemies. There's well, going to be powerful enemies. Can get the, let's see if we can get the wand first. Maybe that will help us with the powerful enemies. Mm -hmm. um, just want to stealth to the door. I will go behind him, but obviously I'm looking out for any pressure plates, anything that I can see. You know, oh, that's me. good. That's teamwork. That's what that is. <clears throat> okay. All right. I go with myself if I can. Up with a 25. No, you feel pretty hidden. What are you doing, Harry? Sorry. Uh, I'd like to kill wounds myself because I'm in very, very bad oh, yes. shape. Yes, we need okay. healers. Uh, probably level three, I think. How, looking at Claire, she looked quite bad. When she, she's a healer. I need to heal myself. One d eight because I don't know how. To I don't know why the D and D Beyond app is such a pain. Though it used to always update itself instantly, but it just doesn't anymore. There will mm. be a way to make it that I'm casting it at third level. I just don't know how to do it. Um, so I got 50 healing. Do I see anything through the ajar door, DM? Who is the healing for? Yes. 
That's so. me, sorry. You okay. see um, a featureless room, except for a rough-edged 10-foot diameter circular hole in the floor to the east. And empty Ew. torch sconces along the walls. Double doors of amber stand open to the north. And, oh, to the north. A single closed door lies just south of the western set of double doors. Are all these doors amber? Yes. Okay. And so it's, it's through to the right. I be can't. careful. I'm, will, I'm looking and, do... you know, obviously we know that there's traps. We know that there's magical creatures, maybe a live spells, you know, all these sort of stuff that could be here. Mm -hmm. And okay, a perception check. Go ahead. Can I get an assist there, Alliance? Not, not for perception, sadly. All right. I will do investigation as I'm going along. Okay, 14. I've got, obviously, a passive of 17, so... Okay. <clears throat> um, investigation of 22. Are you moving into the room? I will, around? as soon as you tell me what my yeah. perception of 14 so was. You do not uh, hear or see anything moving, nothing that strikes out to you. But I'm asking Elimus for his investigation check. Uh, is this you know, in the room, I'm or... behind, I'm always behind like, just while just checking yeah. the floors and and stuff, yes. So, okay. And obviously... You will see a secret door Yeah, uh, here. Oh, over there. Okay. I see just while there's a secret door over there as well. Hmm. Alright, one at a time, one at a time. Okay. So... Is this door locked? I will. I'm going to check this just to see if I can feel. Like it appears to be a simple door, as there's no room for a lock. Yeah. You will open it to see an empty barracks, shattered bits of wood covering the floor of this frigid twenty-foot square room. Stand behind it. The secret door. Where's... Can you see it? That um yes good no i will do a perception check to make sure that there's nothing in this room that's going to bite me okay all good super clear yeah. with a roll of a two how many natural ones have we got tonight i don't know i will step into the room and i will walk over to this secret door mm -hmm. is it just a push on is it a pull up what is it uh, head on, apply directly to the door. Okay. I I just before he touch it, before you touch it, let me check. Oh, I just want to go around and uh, Ethelflad, maybe you can help me. You're muted. Sounds like we're all You're speaking in muted. hushed tones too. Is that the case? You, you are still yes. muted. Yes. And always oh, son of a gun. Um, all right. What can I do for you? Uh, what do you need? Aid, aid me when I check. I'm just gonna so just look around and find if this is trapped, and I will search for. I think that does with an 18. Uh, no, you see no traps. No traps, sorry. Yeah, Let's see. Okay. Opening it up, you see, slumped in the northeast corner is a skeleton. Like I said, wearing a blue wizard's robe Everything and clutching a wand. I think there is the body of a wizard here. The yes, is, uh, that's what I'm after. You. I will gingerly go in and just try to be perceptive and investigate before I even touch it. I'm looking around for any traps. Okay. Oh, with the previous roll, you see no traps. Okay. I will go and check the body. How did it die? That would require a medicine check. Uh, okay, well, I will try to do a medicine check. With a nine. Um, unclear. It doesn't, no obvious wounds. But it was There's still flesh the clinging to it. So, yeah. Okay, I will uh, just place my hand over the first to make sure it's not an illusion. Mm hmm. And then nope. I will pick up the wand first. Okay. It is light, a fine quality. There seems to be um, sort of a swirling pieces of wood that intertwine into a point. Okay, and I will um, sort of a helix. It looks like a helix where the handle is. A, hel a helix. A he yeah. helix. helix. Every now and then, Peter says something 
perfectly reasonable to think that Helix has said Helix. I don't know why we uh, say Helix. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Helix is the word. That's a way it's said. Yeah, sometimes I think with the word vag. He says vag. Is that's a that's a vague. Minnesotanism. Yeah, yeah. that's, like I that's say, very rough, upper Midwest. Vag. Yeah. I will feel the quality of the uh, the robe. Does it look like it's got runes and stuff like that crop and charted into it, or of the robe? Yeah, the robe looks mundane. It is tearing away in patches. Um, it is. Yeah. Clearly not magical then if it's tearing away. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will just check the rest of the body, like carefully, just to make sure there's sure. nothing else that's on there that could be magical. Um, taking some time, it's easy to see from what's just decayed away. Spellbook, you see torn bits of what used to be paper. You see a pouch that is utterly, um, seem to, some of the components seem to have mixed together and created sort okay. of a black stain as they've all combined and coalesced into sort of... So the uh, spell book looks well, completely uh, knackered as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, there's nothing else of use here. I will slowly back out. Okay. That's one. Um, do we want to gather the others and maybe check this secret door here? That's good I'm a big fan of secret doors. There's one just ahead. I point... And I would see if there's the sound of anything that's going to bite me behind it. Make a perception check. What's this thing in the middle? Obviously a pit of some kind. Mm -hmm. That's a hole. I rolled a 17. Okay. At the 17, you hear a... And a kind of occasional clanking coming from the hole itself. That's concerning. I I do not hear anything beyond this secret door, but I definitely hear something below. Um, Can we see the bottom? Yeah, can, um, since I'm right looking... next to it, can I lean gingerly over and look down into it? Uh, sure. Make a perception check, whoever's looking down. I'm looking down. 18? Okay. Anyone else doing so? No, I'm just looking at this uh, study in the uh, the wand. Okay. <clears throat> uh, looking down, you see it kind of curves around. It's not a super clean hole. It probably goes down about um, um, 20 feet or so before the actual hole opens up into a room, and then the fl floor is about 10 feet below that. You see flashes of kind of glowing or not flashes but you see what seems to be glowing green light sort of pulsating around the room down there does this hole look like it was a burrow or a collapse um make an appropriate check probably investigation do you want me to do it uh i i asked the question aloud well I'll do investigation. Um, investigation check on that. Mm -hmm. I'll leave it. For 21. <clears throat> okay. Um, it looks probably like a collapse of some kind. All right. Well, I open the secret door. All right. As you guys talk, you hear the um, sounds <laughs> kind of increase a bit. And as you silent gets excited lessons this looks like there in this wall there's simply or in this room there are simply um cylindrical holes carved into the uh, entirety of the wall here it seem to be um a repository for maps or scrolls, scrolls. Mm. are they empty make an investigation check there seem to be maybe ruins of some but some but I'm maybe half of them there. seem to be full this looks like a job for someone who's better at this sort of thing oh look what have you found it looks like a repository for scrolls of some sort many of them have uh, been destroyed by time but uh, you need to come in with free me. to take a look you're carrying the light. 
you come in? I asked you to come in. With um, light. Casimir will create a light and say, "Oh, come on!" And will <laughs> I'll give it him the light. You've got a light okay. on you, remember? Oh, just one though. That's right. Ah, yeah. It's the door light. yeah. I put it in my pocket. And, uh, forgot about it. Uh, have a look. Uh, Casimir will help aid you in this. Oh. It's going to aid me, yeah. It's investigation. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 27. Yes. So, most of them crumble to dust. One in particular, though, seems to be intact. And it is edged with some kind of gold filigree. Looks like a very fine spell scroll. Mm. Very difficult to find as there was crumbled paper in front of it, but as you cleared it away, you reached in and... Whew, pulled this one out I will check what these are I may need some time that's fair maybe away well, from yes I was going to say since there's creepy crawlies down there we should probably go someplace else I wonder what's did down anybody there. else notice that they got louder when we spoke it's because they can hear yeah, us yeah noticed that yeah. <laughs> there we go it starts to happen again <laughs> Um, go back into the corridor then. And Quietly. I will start casting Identify. Um, DM, but as we're heading out, I want mm -hmm. to take a peek to see what's down this way. Sure. There's a long corridor and another set of doors. This floor seems cracked. Um, and you can see the arrow, the other sides of the arrow slits that you saw before. And this, this, this is a marble floor, like a black marble floor, and there are significant cracks in it, moving along the whole, the entirety of the hall. Um, I want to approach the doorway and just kind of like gingerly, kind of poke at the floor to see whether it'll like. Jeez, I wonder if that'll make any noise. Just, Very just a little bit. Okay. With a sword. Boop the floor. Clink, clink, clink. <laughs> you kind of tap your boot. Tap, yeah. tap, tap. Nothing happens. Okay. Though cracked, I'm... it is still pretty solid. Okay. I'm going to, I'll head back to the group. All right. So you are now in this, on the balcony in the middle of this massive room, a big, head of dark or a, a statue 50, 40 foot tall with a globe of darkness around its head yeah, we don't go near that yet so Casimir yeah. maybe you can check what this scroll is and I will start casting identify I want to check out this other room okay just go through the door um Hey, hey, the flood? Yep. Can you check for traps? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will. To be fair, I came up. That's perception, not investigation, right? Investigation. It's investigation. Ah. Get those backwards. 20. Seems untrapped. Okay, it all looks clear. At least for traps. And it reveals an identical, smashed up barracks room. Fair enough. Oh, we didn't check the barracks room. Yeah, we did, didn't we? We did. No. Mm -hmm. I checked to make sure there was nothing that was going to bite me on my way out. Yeah, no, we didn't yeah. check if there was any hidden Oops. items or anything. Other than the hidden door. Yeah, I knew about the door. Oh. So, where to next? Claire, do, do you want to come in here since you had me look and now I've walked into the room? Sorry, I did mean to follow you. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sending me into the mystery <laughs> space. Uh. Here, if a flag, go in there. <laughs> um, no, no, I'll, I'll take a quick pass around them. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to find anything. Um, I mean, go we've roll. got the choice between room of fire spirits or whatever it is that's in there and hallway of potential cracking and falling. Um, 
You can and also go downstairs in this area or go down these stairs. Right. We could also go down. Though you've heard that someone was killed doing that. Yeah, somewhere did in they, that vicinity. Did she specify that where it happened in the room or just generally? She indicated bodies. they went down. Yeah. Might there are not bodies. I don't know and, bodies. Interestingly no. enough, but yeah. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that, they... would, that would be a pretty impressive trap if you had one giant central room that if anybody went in that room, they died. So I... we have the big room, the cracking floor, the fire ghosts, the fire spirits, and the hole. We're not going down the hole. Fuck that. <laughs> Why? We'll go down the hole. What's so bad Do about it. the hole that's not bad about going through the door into the fire spirits? Do it. I mean, I think we should go through the fire spirit. Door. Shut up! <laughs> what could, that could well, be I'm much more amazing. likely to see what's in front of me if I go through a door than if I drop down into something. That is a lower point. Jeswaldo on a rope. What do you think we should do, Claire? It's... Do we want to go in the secret room? I thought we were already in all the secret rooms. No, we're looking oh. at the secret room. Yeah. Do you see another secret door? Uh, Alimus didn't see anything in there earlier. I haven't been in there. So. You rolled 25 plus on investigation. There is, it's very unlikely yeah. there's anything in there. No. Um, Just from the murder hole. Okay. I've not seen, I've not been in this room. But you Correct. peeked through the murder holes and got. Yeah, I've, I'm yeah. saying this I knew there, I knew there was a secret spirit. door. So you, I've told you about the secret door, but I don't know if there's a secret door in here. As mm. there's a remarkable amount of time spent with uh, um, deciding what to do, <laughs> yes. your identify will go off. <laughs> okay. As will Casimir's. Um, you have a scroll of greater restoration nice. and a wand of secrets. Wand of secrets. Do I know what it does? Yeah, it's a secret. Oh. You do because you identified it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let it... me. I'll add it to my thing. Yeah. What were they again? I'm just writing it down for posterity. See, I'm trying to imagine this poor wizard who died in this room with the wand of secrets, secret. okay. not realizing that there was a secret yeah. door out. <laughs> so there's your Helix wand right there. Yep. I can see it, yeah. I'm looking, I'm looking <laughs> on D&D Beyond. He, It'd be Helix if it had two Definitely wells. a Helix. Yeah. Oh, wand. okay. You can use it to expand one charge, and a secret door or trap is within thirty feet of you. Your wand pulses and points at the nearest to you. Okay. Oh, well. yeah. He really shouldn't have died in that room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Nice. <laughs> this damn thing doesn't work. <laughs> what if he expended all his charges? Oh, good point. Oh, yeah. personal problem. Okay. Um, a wand of restoration. <laughs> I can't cast that, can I? Can I uh, scroll of restoration? Mm, nope. Scroll. No. Is it greater restoration? Yeah, great yes. restoration. I, I, I hand that. Big girl spell. Yeah, I hand that to Claire and I say, I cannot cast this. But maybe you or Meris can. Uh, so, in other words, you can add it to your sheet. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I will follow. Obviously, I can hear them down here. I will follow, walk in this room. Do I see any secret doors or anything? Not trying to meta game, but obviously, there's this big black thing here. Um, just... you knowing, um, the what happened the before you did not search around in this room before, but, um, with some time you will find another scroll repository. This one completely containing just dust. Okay. All right. Where was that secret door then? Was that in here? Yeah. Okay. It is right here where you have not yet searched so what's the plan are we fighting the thing in the pit or are we fighting this thing in here seems like we're lining up to fight this thing might as yeah. well try whatever this shit is yeah and if there is a staff in there then it's worth getting it makes things better for you or for one of our other companions I agree yeah. I this wand here it can detect traps secret doors that's amazingly useful. Um, By all the means. I say, can you use this? Uh, can I use it? Um, let's see. I just shared it with you. I don't. I don't know if. I mean, 
Yeah, it's not doesn't require attunement. You oh, oh thank you. I'll say this should be really good for you, just while there is your. Yes. Well, All right, yeah. I will definitely take that, and I will use it on the door. Okay. And I will remove it from my thing. <clears throat> um, you. So it it doesn't. You kind of just use it on everything around you. You know, it just I think it's just sort of use it on the like, Yeah. And Are it, you a uh, secret door? You do not detect any. Um, well, actually, your wand points. Whoop, the closest trap or secret door is behind you. Really. All right. So, so this door is not trapped. Is it locked? It is not. I though will... it is barred from your side. It seems like they barred it up. Um, the the people who were in here before. Very carefully. Remove the bar. Okay. Put it quietly to the side, and I would say, "Is everyone ready?" Hard save. Yeah. <laughs> I will open Casimir the door. Casimir will move over here. Okay. Wait, Harrison, so, get your ass in here. <laughs> beyond, yeah. Put yourselves where you think you'd be in this. There's a hallway here, twenty foot wide, seventy foot long, arched corridor, sheathed in amber. The southern. Uh, there is a um, well. There is a a few flames burning, and you can see a charred corpse lying under a burned fur cloak. Several amber doors lead from this hall, and three arrow slits are cut into the east wall. Floating in the middle of the hall are three skulls wreathed in flame. Oh my! They look Jesus. like this, though. Like anyone who plays D and D probably knows what these might be. What are the wisps? They're Flame heads. And they immediately <laughs> turn to you. <clears throat> Have I got any idea what and these things are? And we've got time for one more. Um, you can make an uh, arcana check as a free bit of quick knowledge before, as we're rolling initiative. Like 12. Um, you don't know exactly. No. Do, 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 do. I got an eight, but I was a bit ahead of the thing when it came up. You got an eight? Yeah, 8.14, so behind the flame skulls. All right. I was looking at things. Just Waldo, you are first to act. Um, I will ask the DM for some combat music. Mm hmm. DM says no. I was like, bonus action. Gotta get in the mood. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It will happen. I will... I will push um, the elven mage out of the way. Is it possible to do that and then hold an action? Um, Sure. What would you like to hold your action for? I want to attack the first thing that I see coming through that door. Okay, sounds good. Casimir will, <sighs> will look around the corner here and um, looking at them will... Hmm. It's really good when the mages go first. Yeah. Love it. Mages first, clerics last. <laughs> he will indeed loose, let loose a fireball here. Um, though they're crackling in this green flame, you will see that, unfortunately, they seem to be immune to fire damage. <sighs> he will be visibly frustrated by that. So would Limus. Um, Good luck, guys. Okay, now you I know. Will, I will do a hunter's mark on that guy. The furthest one away. Okay. Bloop. And then let's do let's do two arrows to that longest guy. Two. For 13 and 14. Both will hit. Oh. For 17 total. 
Oh, uh, did plus. you add both here? Yeah, plus um, plus five. Five, and then roll another d6. Twenty-two, twenty-eight. Nice. Wow, really good opening round there. Nice. Super, super good. This one will be kind of <laughs> visibly faltering in its sort of hovery flight. Elimus. Um. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna shoot it with a um. Hoping that. Fire obviously may be immune, but maybe they're not so immune to Ray of Frost. Maybe 18 to hit. 18 hits. Does it do any damage? It does not. Okay. I don't bother rolling in the damage then. <clears throat> Claire. I'll go take a seat. I will... Um point my sword out towards the same one that um, Ethelflaed hit and throw a couple of Eldritch Blasts at it. Okay. A 19 to hit for three force damage. Okay. Followed by... Eldritch Blast. A natural 20. Ooh. For 14 damage total. Yes! <laughs> This one will blast into smithereens, thanks to awesome. that. Awesome. Um, I will then sort of put myself here behind a limus. Okay. Oh. You will then, um, well, it's their turn. They, <sighs> it looks like they're chewing on something for a bit and this little moat of light starts to form in their mouths and then zips out to you guys. And the room you are in explodes no. in a giant mass of fire. Oh god. For the first one. What did I do? Fireball. Fireball. Two fireballs. Um Ooh, fireballs. Fireball. Oh, god. We don't we don't like fireballs. Uh that's no good. I will whisper the words. Is it a spell? It is. They are casting the spell fireball. Oh. You can hear them whispering Counter those spell. words. I will whisper the words back of Exponentia in Rita and counterspell that bitch. Okay. You counterspell one of them. One of them, yeah. Awesome. And then I, I look to the other wizard here in hope. Um, He does not... He moved to cover <laughs> and does not see the casting. Well, I've got cover if he's got cover. <laughs> yeah, he's way around the corner, though. And unfortunately, cannot. Is he? Is Deck saves he's, for everybody. He's, he's hiding behind a bedroll. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a special bedroll. Okay, yeah. he can hide. He does not have line of sight. So, so. deck saves. Correct. Yeah, he doesn't have. He would have to see through a wall to see any of them. The corner of your square, you can see the one. Oh, okay. Uh, DC is going to be 14. Oh, 18. Come on, dear. Just Waldo. <laughs> You've got inspiration. So like, You've what? got inspiration. Oh, yes, 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 I will roll the inspiration. You don't need to Thank roll you. It. And guys, um, do feel free to uh, do the maths. Um, it's going to be a 36 damage fireball. I, uh, I so we have... get to have that, oh, sorry. right? Correct. And because of my um, uncanny... What is it called? It's not like okay, dodge. dodge. Evasion. Evasion. I take no damage. Oh, you got ah. evasion. Man. It's really stupid, but a great rogue feature. You just yes. a dragon's breath that encompasses a ninety-foot mm. cone, and you just go oh, oh, ah, ah, around it and don't get hit. You know? That hurts. So you, so you can great. fake snake spinner for that, then, Jiswaldo. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, snake spinner. All right. Okay. Very, so, very appreciated. So even with the twenty-seven, I'm still taking what was it? Thirty. Eighteen. 18 damage. Yeah, 18. Half Z's. Uh, half Z's, yeah. Oh. Mr. Kiazimir will succeed. But he's looking toasty. All right. That's their turn. They will hover backwards a bit. Um, let's see here. I Let me put the template down. 
Yeah, they would have gotten just about everyone. I just want to make sure to make sure I didn't damage Harry unnecessarily since he is outside of the. Um... Uh huh. They got me too. Oh, right now, good. Well, no. they wouldn't have seen you. They would have just put it right in the middle of the room there. Um, sorry if you already calculated the damage, but you would not have um, likely been included in that since. You'd have to apologize they didn't know for excluding there. me from a fireball. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're up. I'll dash into the room. Guys, I would have been dead. To that position. There. If that was yeah, two, with two fireballs. fireballs. So you're legit turn. dashing. Okay, cool. Just Waldo. Uh, I will also do this thing that I've seen the Lord Harrison do. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. For bonus action dash. And then mm -hmm. I will slash into this flaming skull here. Okay. I will attack it with my magic right here. Ooh. Thank you very much, Esmeralda. 21 for 23 Ooh. points of piercing damage. Super wow. good attack. Yes, yeah. we'll hit and yeah, we'll hurt. And I will... <laughs> used all my tricks I think I think I have a little bit more movement I will move around to the other side of it to not uh, be in the way for ranged attacks and I am done okay um well, Casimir is kind of at a loss here there's not much he can do but he was going to step around the corner here um look around and actually he will cast magic missile at the one that just Waldo um, attacks, and then you will see the um, one whisper, um, Obscurax! And a shield will pop up, negating the magic missile. Damn. <sighs> Athelflaed. This one here okay. seems to have cast shield. Oh, well, just for better sight, I'll just move right through the doors. And then for this buddy. Not that guy. I'm sorry, what did you just... <laughs> That's the better one, yeah. I don't want to meta, but like... <laughs> no, but this, no, one, no, no. this one is more damaged. But he has a shield, though. Yeah. But it's a, is so. it a... But would it work... It's it's only, yeah, is it yeah, only it's, a magic It lasts shield? until his next turn. Yep, no, no. Plus 5 AC for the... Yeah. He's it's got it's five all arms. attacks, not just magic attacks, though. Right. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. But for you, it'll be all attacks, yeah. Okay. I decided it was magic only. Okay. So I will. <laughs> I don't know why. I've decided these things. I just, I give myself advantage. Um, I guess I will attack the non shield for two longbows. Watch out. Okay. For non shield, both will hit if that's non shield, in fact. So. Yeah. For 16 okay. total. Noted. Not Anything much. else? <clears throat> nope. Elimus. Um, he will obviously patting off his robes, look into the room. <laughs> Does he see the staff that they were mentioning? It is laying in the clutches of this burnt body. I will grab go in, grab it. Um knowing I can't do much else, I'm useless against these. Um you guys see, Elimus, you feel an immense jolt of energy pass through your body. You guys even see it looks like for a bit his eyes flash visibly with light. Elimus, you feel powerful with this. You are not attuned to it yet, but it is a good thing. I'm writing you something that I need you to see on roll 20 as well. Okay. Um, you can continue your turn, though. So. And I will look at the one on the left, knowing that the other one has a shield on. And I will whisper the word, Medicium, tell him, and some magic missiles will come out and slam into the other one. Okay. Um, oh, the the one that cast shield or the one that didn't? The one that didn't. And carefully, Lee. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. I, I did say he will cast shield. Uh, he'll call, he has shield left. <laughs> the other one did as well, yeah? Yeah. No, he, 
Now okay. they both cast so they both shield. Got shield. Okay. <laughs> and then I will use the rest of my movement to get out of the room. Okay. I've sent you a little thing to read there. Uh, okay. All right. Claire. I mean, they can't do two fireballs, right? 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 Who knows? I mean, I don't know the rules of 5e so well, but... I will step out here and I'll shoot a couple more Eldritch Blasts at the one that Jiswaldo is nearby. Okay. Actually, where am I right now? I'm here. Yeah, I might as well do it from there. Um, okay, so I'll just throw both of them out there, see what happens. Um, 18 on one and a natural one on the second. Uh, with its shield, the 18 will hit, in fact. Okay, so 10 force damage from that. All right. It is, again, looking uh, rough, just kind of... <laughs> bobbing okay. around um i i would like to move before the end of my turn mm -hmm. um far can i go how do i reply back to you without cocking this up uh you can just slash w and then dm you should be able to whisper so. oh, okay yeah 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 I will um, step out one, two, three, four, five here. Okay. Anything else? No, nah, that's all I got today. The one of the um, uh, flame skulls, the one nearest Jeswaldo, will continue to. Uh, we'll start to chant, <laughs> casting a spell. Because Nothing I can do about it. Guess it. I All can't right. hear it from there. Uh, you can't see it. You no. cannot counter it. Disgusting! A he spell! will conjure forth a flaming sphere. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Um. So it will try to ram it into you. Um. Just while though, you of must course. make a dexterity saving throw against must it. Must make a dexterity saving throw. I must make it. Right. Okay. Doop and doop. Dexterity saving template? throw coming up. The template is sixteen. Is my dexterity see. saving throw? I have one here. Yeah. It's just a really small fireball. Oh no, they've got flaming sphere, haven't they? Uh, no. Oh, do do I already have it? Yeah, oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you'll summon one here. Um, 16 was my roll. Uh, you succeed and take um, half of a... Um, <laughs> would it, would half it be, of three damage. Would it be no damage because of my um, evasion? The other one will attempt uh, see, uh, to summon for some flame, but this time Casimir will snap his eyes to it and will counterspell it. All right. Um, uh, Harrison. Better go hit this guy, I guess. Um, with two longsword attacks. Oh, does that damage? No, oh, there we go. Uh, 15 and 16. Um, they... Let's see. Uh, once more, it will summon forth a shield to protect it from the blows. Oh, that makes sense. Um, just remind me on the 5e rules, like... He's just done fireball. Can he cast shield on the same turn? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. It's a reaction. Mm -hmm. can rea you okay. will be able to run away from him without incurring an attack of opportunity because he's mm -hmm. used his reaction. Yeah, yeah, that's... Well, I'll keep that in mind. But yeah, okay, that ends my turn. Okay. They deflect off its shield. Very just while though, your turn. I will try to finish off the one that is right here. Um... Taking it with my plus two rapier. Plus one rapier. <laughs> Pretty sure it's plus two. <laughs> A 15. And another shield will spring up, deflecting uh, your rapier away. 
Last. They will. Let's see. Ah, no, I am good. I will stay there. Okay. Trying to just jam this thing for this machine. It's not working. Oh, there is not much that Casimir can do, knowing that it's immune to fire. Um, he yeah, will... I'm the same. <clears throat> My spells are fire. I know. <clears throat> he will run forward and um, he will just he will just um, then duck. He does realize he can't do anything. We'll duck behind this <laughs> thing here oh, <laughs> and we'll wait, uh, looking like he's ready to counterspell should something else bad happen. Athelflaed. Um, I guess I will do Hunter's Mark on this one. Hunter's Mark. Mm, let's do level one. Go ahead and make those attacks. Yeah. Flame me hot man. Flame me Twenty-eight will absolutely that. bypass his shield, as will the eighteen. Um, you can save your, uh, you can redirect your second attack to the other one, since the uh, first attack will shatter the flame skull in front of Jeswaldo. Okay, and so for a bonus action, I'm casting. Um, you already used a bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark. Yes, but if I get it down to zero HP on you only that have target, one bonus action on your. But turn. it says. You only have one bonus action yeah. a turn, so... Yeah. I, thought I, I thought for that one I could do... Okay, fine. Yes, okay. So, on a subsequent turn, you could do that. Does his okay. flame sphere disappear? It does. This is spheres. It this is spheres. It this is spheres. Someone else say it, because that... This is sphere. Okay. <laughs> uh, and you will do your... Let's see. Roll your Hunter's Mark damage for that. Oh, for that that guy. 12 D66. damage. Oh, never mind. It, you can't transfer it. Like I just told you. Never mind. Sorry. No, I was hoping we could just keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alimus, you're up. Okay, Alimus. Oh. We'll look at a staff. I must know your power. And then cast Identity Turn. I'm on it. Uh, we'll oh my god. Are you, are you slot casting it? Slot cast it. <laughs> okay. Whoa. <laughs> um. Elimus, you have here... You know where this man's priorities are. <laughs> oh, shit. You have here a Staff of Frost. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, I still can't attune to it, though, can I? Well, can I use this? Because of what happened before, you can instantly attune to it. Wow. Very nice. <clears throat> okay, that's me done. Okay, clear. Claire must muted. be muted. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So, can I get to this guy over here, the one that um, Harrison's in front of? Um, one, two, three. I think I can. Yeah. You can, I believe. Okay, yeah. great. And I will swing my sword around and try to chop into it a few times. Go for it. Um, uh, 14? Not quite enough as this no! deflects off this shield. Okay, well, I will try again. Maybe. Maybe try again a few one. times. Wow, I'm not rolling well. Again, here. they just doink off of it. Yet. Okay. Sorry, boyos. All right. I've got one more flaming sphere for the person who hit me. I need a dexterity saving throw from Harry. Uh, I'm pretty good at this, I think. Because it's this plus two, uh, 18, because yes. I have shield master. So it deflects off of your shield. And does that reduce the damage as well? Uh, I take no damage from it. 
Very cool. That would have been a full 12 max damage, so you take mm -hmm. no damage from it, and it just hovers around looking threateningly scully at you. Anyway, your turn. Okay, well, first I will um, passive-aggressively check with Aethelflaed in case we want to keep this thing alive for interrogation. Assuming we don't, I will kill it. <laughs> uh, try. I will do two long sort of attacks on it. Uh, 16 and a 21. Uh, both will hit. Okay, so I've that's actually talked a... to a flaming skull before. 20. If that's not enough, I will... Oh no, I don't have any left. I mean, the I final fight. blow is yours. Hooray, okay. hooray, you frabjous day. Just impale it on the end of my sword. <laughs> and the flames just... <laughs> Uh, wink out, and you see this inanimate skull, just like any other regular skull, just just slide down to the hilt and bounce back and forth a few times and then sit there. Pretty cool. The flame skulls are no more. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, and we will nice wrap up. Yeah. It. All right. We did it. <laughs> If we wrap it up, Alimus, Alimus. you will notice that he just grabbed a staff, identified yeah. it, and ran around a corner. I know. <laughs> Wait, Wait guys, guys, I did counter a fireball. Okay. Yes. You did, good. and that was very, very wonderful. Okay. Alimus, what'd you find? Share with the class. Oh, he will uh, <laughs> show the staff. It's a staff of frost. It has immense power. Well, sounds like your cup of tea. It will be very useful in here. Well, not against those creatures. You feel like trading for a wand of secrets? Does Waldo? I don't think you would know where to put that thing. <clears throat> you would be out of You'd be surprised how many power. times I've heard that. <laughs> I give him a little pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what's next? And with that phrase, what's next? <laughs> we will fade to black hmm. and pick up our exploration of the Amber Temple. I don't want it to end. <laughs> <laughs>